I should watch the cheat. Sorry for the delay. Let's get right into our Kimi trolls. Oh, we got a test run to do, but you know how it is. So, so, this Earthshaker ready. Should we set this artifacts real quick? It's easy stuff. Hmm. How do you do? A recipe there. A couple things to claim for mail. Second. And it's just two fragile resin and the anniversary rewards. Okay. So that'll get rolled too. So in that case. Hmm. A couple of dailies to do, but of course we should wait until we can get him in the party. So we will claim this. Switch out to Well we can't switch anyone out yet. Thinking think I'll probably run talent domain a bit today. Given that Shilinen is also going to need the same exact kindling books that he uses. But of course we don't have to wait until we have him, so I think the most logical place to roll for the people who care about that thing would be Scions. So I'll go there right now. Right now. We can do the test run real quick. Gotta remember to do this today, because it ends today. So we got this. So we'll just do our test runs for a couple of additional resources. Oh, oh, oh. oh and they start with. Oh, that's nice. That's fun. Okay. Oh, I. Whatever. Come on. Come on. And continue. Zapping them. Yeah. Having you start with energy is really, really good for this. Okay. Thank you. And. Just like this. Hit. And. Last. Plus, yeah, that is a fun way to start with the test run chamber. So, move on. I didn't even really notice a change, because presumably they made it this patch. I didn't notice what I was doing the first couple. So, oh, and Barbara is here for some reason. Okay. Mm. Okay, and... Do that and put this down. And that should boost up Elisa. Yep, make use of both the parts of the bob. It's not a great test for Elisa, frankly. I mean, for Sara, frankly, but I'm not even sure if such a thing would, would even exist for such a scuffed character. Oh well. Okay, and. Fair enough. She's still only good with. Ride in higher con teams, and I do mean higher con teams. So let's keep on moving. Not you. Good old Toma stuff. Hello. And... Oh, because he had Kira and Sydney to do the other order, right? Okay. And. Hit. Glass. One, two. Glass. One, two. Mm, but we're not. Close enough, and that's why. Uh, Yanfe is kind of silly in any kind of help. It just doesn't work. Okay. And just another smash. There we go. Cool. And so now we can move on to Raiden and Kinich. Just got to see how many rolls we even have. We have enough to hit hard pity twice if necessary. It is honestly funny that they just straight up put down by the national here. They understood the assignment, so to speak. Okay. And... Good stuff. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. 
Two and one. one. Okay, never mind. Yes, we didn't have enough. Hit what I got in there. Alright. Cool. And my dude down. We got another two. Okay, nice. Alright. They know how people play this character. You really just run around national at this point. If coalesced around a single optimal strategy. So let us start this and it's kind of a garbage char character trial. This is not out in the open and the enemies are too weak to really get a good sight on how he performs, frankly. It is what it is. Dr. Ferguson. Cool. We got a couple of slimes here. Oh well. So, we could press some of this out and there we go. Way too short to really need much of anything. Okay. I honestly want to check what the boundaries are here. So this is the Yunkasaur King's Arena. What? Come on. You're running away again. This is basically what he said, and it walks out pretty much at the teleport points location. Okay. And let's... Oh, we did not get the little bonus climb. I guess because we didn't collide, so to speak. This is more or less where the teleport point is, and the funny thing is that the flame granites here, they got rid of those. <laughs> you don't get to test out his flame granite ability, because they just don't have any of him, any for him to pick up for some godforsaken reason. I honestly wonder sometimes if they were trying to make Kinich not sell. For some reason. <laughs> Okay. And got the remaining particles. Not that we need them. Yeah. Gotta take down all the enemies. Alright. Hmm. Let's start it. Okay. Actually, I forgot. How that works. Okay, cool. And, oh, it, the coin ambar field is actually in a nothing place. Okay. I did that way too early. Okay. Cool, and. Quick shot, quick shot, and. Mm, this a little goofily. Okay. Take you out. He is rather strong. Also, one of the things that you want to go the other way, you want to backhand things, so to speak, and I completely miss. Okay. Oops. It's pretty nice. Okay. So we'll collect all those rewards, and I guess it's time to actually do the rolls. Fair enough. See just how this turns out. Oh, but since we're not actually on the pause screen at the end, but in an instance, I actually collect an item pick up just right in there. Okay. Well, you see the Flickiston bar is actually shared between the instance and the overworld, so the Flickiston we use for the grapples there is now actually consumed. Okay. Well, in that case... Got a single blue faint to use from Battle Pass. I'll toss that in there for good luck and then do everything else that actually matters. Okay, so 44 is going to be 45 on normal. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> and nothing. But on. Kinich banner, we have <laughs> about, I'll just do the math in my head real quick. 32, that's 200, that's 5828, 6, 
Oh, Hajime Mashtenshi, Prismatic Queen. We are literally just about to roll for Keenage with the... Second, let me think. Uh, with the 236 Primo rolls and 21, so 257 rolls we can just toss in. So hopefully I'll have enough remaining for shoeing in afterwards, but nice to meet ya. I'm gonna get started now. Starting at zero pity on event character banner, so we'll just put up the pity tracker real quick. And, oh, pff, right, that's where I was when I got Milani. Let's put this back down to zero and get to rolling. Let's make this happen. Three, two, one, go. Honestly, my ideal result would be getting C2 a Dia Constellation early, and oh, that's a Chevy Con. That's actually really nice. Oh, great sword. Yeah. Let's see two now. C6 is the only one that really matters much, but that should be good for the Arlequino team I run. So that's on to 20. Yeah, but an early Diacon and then early Keenich would basically be ideal. Because he likes Dia on his teams, but he would prefer C2 or higher for... Oh, more, more Chevy. It's really nice, especially considering that I've got Toma and Sari. C6. Okay. More purple. More burble. This is gonna be... Okay, just another fab greatsword. Who, who really even needs that? Take this to 40. Still more purple. Okay. And that's... Okay, Toma. So that's mostly just going to be star glitter. Okay. On to 50. Can't afford to go in deep and... Oh, we got gold. We got gold. Let's see who and what this is. Yow Yow. Oh, wow. Been a while. And Toma and... Well, there we go. There's our Kinich. Oh, you're a Shiro. That's a pretty nice way to do it. Let me check specifically how many more. How much we went over. That's Naruto. That's Naruto. See the appearing and relaxing. Thank you. Okay, he keeps he just keeps yapping. Great dragon lord. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four, four afterwards. So that means it was 46. Got Kinich at 46. Then, so there's four lingering pity now. That was nice. Okay, Kinich at 46. On 9, 29, 24. It's for the sake of my own record keeping. So, that was nice. I dread the day when my good luck is going to reverse course and become bad luck. Also, I didn't realize how much my head was blocking that. Probably should have moved it here or something. Frankly, that being that center is kind of unsightly. Okay, well, time to level this bad boy up and start on his quest. So I've still got a lot left over for Shilin Han. This, <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Okay. Fleet Salon Sword and Hunter, Hunter kill Skill at Kanagas. So I'll actually be able to. Well, for one, take the stuff off of Aloy that she was holding for him. Level it up the rest of the way with some artifact juices. Hmm. Kind was it? Was it? Let's look for. Okay, it was right because it wasn't leveled up all the way, so it wouldn't be with the 20 level, level 21s anyway. So we can find them pretty easily then if we scroll down below. Yeah, he's got. Obsidian, gotta give him the Earth Shaker. Quite more that I leveled for him. Leveled and refined, it's R5 right away. 
Very, very excited to see what he can do. Because even though, honest to goodness, I feel like they tried to sabotage his sails, his damage is still great, and his... A lot, uh, most, his pretty much everything is still very good. His gameplay and traversal is incredible, too. So... A lot of those artifact juices. Any treasure artifacts lying out a couple, we should use those to sort of nudge them into max level at the end. Okay. It's one. One, three, one, five, five, five. Can we go with that with any lower amount? Hmm, that's... It doesn't say. It doesn't really talk about the overlap. Mm hmm. Okay. That's one, three, two, five. This is... Actually slightly more cost. There would be a bit more waste using both those artifacts than using a single juice. Let's make this happen. And... Uh, yeah. Well, we got a lot of crit rate earlier. So I guess... It was bound to rebound on this a little. But he doesn't have a lot of ER at all. So. Thank you. Oh, we got even more crit rate. Yeah, this is going to become pretty ridiculous pretty fast. Wow. Yeah, because he's got so much from just substat rolls. And a bunch from Obsidian's effect. Legitimately kind of ridiculous. Okay, well. It's not that he doesn't want to attack, but... It... Can only afford to get so greedy before the hand of God comes and smacks me down. So... Yeah. So we'll see if we get a crit stat here. This actually seemed to have rolled in the defense a number of times, but... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Because right now, he's already got... He's got 86.6 when his set effect is active, and that's 41.6 just from substats. It's truly ridiculous. So you don't want that piece of default garbage. You want this bad boy, the Earthshaker. Which he even used in that cutscene, the Movika Capitano fight, even though in the trailer for 5.1 he actually uses his signature 5 star weapon. Well, let's level him up. Oh, and right, we do have a couple of Chevy Cons to collect. Sniper Induced Explosion, that is interesting, I suppose. That does not increase its buff. It does increase the healing, but it's still going to be some way until that C6. And oh, right, Yayo. Yayo Khan. Hmm. I don't really use Yayo. Okay. So we can continue leveling him. We'll get three blue fates from this, too. With a lot of Saurian teeth. I have to level his talents all the way. Well, all the way to 9, not 10, 10, 10. And we'll gamer. Okay. Oh, that was what he said. Talk about Wakonic. And is that... It was showing weapon types? Or... No, showing bounties. It's like a bounty board. Now, that's real cool. Yep, and we're getting decent crit damage there. So it's nice that he has a good amount from... Ascension stats, but of course we even have that crit damage circlet, and... He's still relatively close to just uber-capping on crit rate still. It... <laughs> I walked out with this guy. <sighs> what are you gonna say? Oh, probably just ah how yelling in him. Grunting and disdain. Okay, Flame Spirit Pact. 
Oh, I need to actually make more... Dandro crystals. That's right. So we'll do that. I also accidentally completed a puzzle <clears throat> off screen that Kinich otherwise would be able to do. I honestly might want to run him a bit. Either way, once Molly and Kachina are on the team, we can put Emily in. No ZHC2, but an early 50 50 win is still really, really nice. Can't claim to complain. So, 16 of those, and that should be enough for the gemstones we need two. No, actually not. We need five more of those. Craft those right now, and then craft the remaining chunks we need. Six. Fighting off up every week certainly helps. All right. So, let us keep leveling you. Something about living by yourself, I think? I'll check all the actual dialogue boxes in a minute. So, one more level up and we'll be pretty much chilling. Doesn't have a lot of HP. <clears throat> okay. そのコイを。そう、ただで受け取るわけにはいかない。お前の望む値段を言ってくれてもいいし、あるいは俺が用意した報酬をもらってくれてもいい。I... Well, it's not like Wander was any different. He's got to go upgrading his talents, but... Decent enough attack. And that's going to be a very solid nearly 1-2 to two crit rate of 86.6, I am excited to see how much damage this guy's going to dish out. And of course, I upgrade everything, even though he literally does not use his normals for anything. Okay. So, we will... Oh, I could try this on the local legend, that's right. But that can has some truly ridiculous multipliers. And the burst is mostly used for keeping stacks up. Because once you can have other characters off field trigger burning while he's actually using his burst. Meaning they can use that to charge up another shot and get a bonus blast. Just take this all the way to nine. Given that we have enough for all the others, it's not like I really need to be counting. Okay. The next, and I am not crowning you right now at least. And it's... Such a ridiculous multiplier. I'm pretty sure it's actually higher than... Oh, Lisa's fully charged E, which is honestly ridiculous to think about. It's for a while, as in until now. Well, I think maybe Arla Burst. No, Arla Burst did not give it competition without a bunch of constellations. This... Truly ridiculous multiplier. And of course it can't be amplified in the way that most things can, but still just what are they doing? What were they thinking? So level up the dragon breath, even though its damage is not really winning any prizes. Is all of these Arlequino earrings. And there we are. Very cool. And he's got... Night Soul Burst bonus. Yeah. That's the big thing. Get him back points. There we go. He does have his unique... Charge attack. 
tosses it for some reason. Grab their spawn, but we will not really be using that. Put him in the teapot. Switch Emily out. Your time has unfortunately ended. Oh, well, we could actually move Kirara too. I think, yeah, Kachina's over the next spot. Because I had to have four characters in the party collecting friendship at once. Well, party and teapot in the teapot at once. For some in a while with Emily, Kirara, Milani, and Kachina. And that was a silly team to try to run. Didn't work. So, we got the combat event, we got his quest, and a lot of rolls left over for Shilinen. That is quite nice. And then, Chaska. Chaska. I think, probably, Oromon, etc. But, I'm gonna try out his best team real quick on oh but right there was a little puzzle over here hello we just got keen each won the 50 50 at 50 relatively low pity and a lot of stuff saved up for shoeing in now didn't have to extend myself all that far which was nice and this was something that i accidentally did off camera because i thought this was a daily commission this was not the daily commission that an obstacle course down there by the coast was a daily commission, but this was an interesting little obstacle course type thing where it spawned three grapple points that you could grapple to either using the green grass dinosaur or Keenich. But of course, Keenich was not released at the start of the version, though to be fair, I made this mistake about five days ago. And you basically grapple. There were grapple points with targets hovering above them, and some grapple points spawned platforms under them so you can stay on them. This one did not. So basically, you had to grapple to them and immediately do this little mid-air attack that you can see. He has the don the green dinosaurs, the Unibasaurs have that too. But you could also use Keenich. Notably, you can see that he can do an extra grapple in mid-air after his first grapple. But also, if you grapple onto... And the ch this chest spawned from that, so I left it to collect his penance. So I actually want to try real quick fighting an enemy of note using him. Using a team that works with him. So his best team generally considered, at least for my purposes, would be him, Emily, Bennett, and Dia. Yeah, so we'll try that out. Wondering the order I want to send them down in because Emily would benefit from Holy Bennett verse. Main thing is that Dia needs to have sacrificial grenade sword and needs to actually proc in order to make sure she can keep her burst up for the pyro up there. Also, we'll be starting off with fewer burst active than I might like, but I will live. What? What is it? Hello, and that might have worked. Oh, well, thank you. Put this down and stay inside the circle impact and blast, blast, and wait. nice. Very cool. And blast, shot, 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 and blast. We got four off pretty capably, but oh, that missed. That was not good. Hmm. Oh. That's sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, and let's go for that. Circle impacts. And hopefully the healing will help. And blast. You go a little bit faster if you aim it manually. And okay, sometimes you have to aim it like that too. And ah, oh, we barely missed our chance. As you can see, he has some problems hitting reliably. Come on. Thank you. But his damage is not bad at all. Okay, and now we can shoot and get another hit down during that window and shoot but you get more of his shots if you free aim them because free aiming them is slightly faster but it's rather risky 
Okay, so we need that Bennett. Special since he needs healing badly. This is an interesting one. Okay, and that works. If she manages to freeze you, she hits you hard, too. Oh, well, and that's the problem. Can't really dodge out of the way of that. So, that was fun, but he's a very poor fit for that fight. Alright. Well, it was an interesting try. I think I might actually try out an obstacle course with him real quick. Those are exploration things, and I kind of want to keep them until next patch. This next patch it doesn't have a new area, so it would help give me actual meaningful things to do. Oh, but also, that's right. He can interact with anything that the dendrodinosaurs can, which means he can actually pick up. He has a special icon there, this pixelated flame, so you can see at the bottom right of the screen. Pick that up and... Oh! Oh, that's... wild. So a chest spawns there next to this villager hole. So we can get that without killing it, but obviously we're meant to take out our Mega Buster and just end his life. Well, we missed. Unfortunately, I'm not that nice. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, and he even lights the campfire. That's funny. Oops. So in that case, we can talk to Wirio Master Trainer so as a canopy. I'll try out this a bit, but I don't think I'll try to win. Eh, well, if I come back through this area, I'll end up trying the challenge again. For us, the signs of the canopy, agility, and finesse are essential qualities, and that's why I prepare this warrior's challenge. So, Outlander Warrior. Want to take a swing at this? Let's begin. Let's swing at this. Mucosaurus, or signs of the canopy character. Challenge coins, orbs of inspiration, and growing gains. You can collect them. Explosive barrels for them to damage. Purple will lose points. Orange will give you points. Okay. Cool. Let's try this with Keenage. Let's just see. Oh, Fleet of Foot, collect as many challenge coins as possible. Oh, they have you actually aim for the middle there. That's interesting. Collect as many as we can. You're gonna turn orange, or... I think we just have to grapple up and over. Or grapple there. Have a good amount of time. And since his hitbox is smaller than the dinosaurs, there's a bit of trouble here. We can... So for the targets with the barrels, we just gotta aim. Thank you. Target shooting challenge. Thank you. And another one. I wanna see what our rank will be, because I think it's somewhat related to our speed going through. Okay. And no actually there are platforms here, never mind. Nice, got that inspiration, and not much more. Luckily, the nice thing is that Kinich can actually sprint. The Yumkasaur cannot sprint. And they're actually rather slow, which is their primary disadvantage, honestly. And we go down here. That's- oh, well that wasn't a plunge attack at all. And that should be everything. Oh, that wasn't even all the challenge coins. Well, I just wanted to test out his abilities, so... Having to do it one more time is a fine thing. We'll even leave the chests. Uh, I, I don't need them right now. <laughs> I don't even need them right now. Yeah, we have... Oh. Oh, 206 rolls saved up. Which, again, means I can go to Hard Pity twice if I have to and still get Sheelan in. I don't imagine I would go all the way to Hard Pity, even if I lost. But, we'll see. We can do our... Silly little dailies real quick and get started on that quest and then do a bit more. Got that combat event. These are the characters we're running. I don't need to try free aiming with him. Not like this, we'll be okay. But the movement that that local legend did made things rather painful. Okay. Hello there. Hi. And... Thanks. Cool. And keep on shooting. Cool. And I... Never mind. Never mind. And there we are. Another one. Another one. This should be good. We just keep that up. I... Mm, guess there was cool down to that more than I would have liked. 
But yeah, we can keep on shooting. Go around the blind spots, nice and quick. Thank you, and one more blast. Very good stuff, but of course, D needs to come back up, and here we are. Cool. I, mm, if I clicked during the transmission, I think we could have gotten another loop shot in. But, here we are, and we can't even go through to the dead zone because we got stuck. And good stuff. He is just strong. No buts about it. So we have an uh, internal combustion charge there. Probably be a sum of Kachina? Maybe. Now we already used these to level up him. Got enough of the chrysanthemums for Shul in the next patch already, so it's not a huge worry. Okay. Do this. Internal combustion charge. Yep. Let's get going, Kachina. Let's go in here. That gauge is gone. Pop out and continue our transmission. Cool. Sprint with you. Get back on the car. Go back up. Go in here and mostly just crawling along the wall then. Okay. Wall crawling. Here we go. And more of that. And we just come up here. That's the end of it. Let's see how you do. Fly like this. Come on, come on, and shoot, and very good stuff. Actually, a bit less damage effectively than Max Little Milani by it, because to be oh, that's right, I do also have enough to get her to 999, so we'll do that. Especially since I'll probably be using her in the combat event. That's a lot of Mora down the pipe. But. This is. Leave the momentum, that would be more or less. 2. 6.76. 7.5. 73. 0.5 max HP, which basically means. About 33. Thousand is its base value. Three thousand. Then of course you vaporize that, so it's basically sixty thousand, assuming you vaporize every one. And is this sixty thousand versus one six eight percent of attack? It's going ten times. Attack. A little under 12 times attack. It's about 24. 24,000 versus. Yeah, so it's ever so slightly less, but of course, he does wind up with better crit, though that was basically just a dumb luck. Okay. Slightly better. Oh, we'll be chillin'. Funny how Redmane's blood does not just disappear. Okay. So we will keep on moving. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you, thank you. One more of these and then it's we also got bounties. Should be able to pretty quickly get to max, actually. In the next patch. Cool, and just gotta see who gets hit. Thank you, and another blast, and it. It's very, very user friendly. Not clunky at all, especially since if you do the tap to fire the E, you have really good homing on it, too. Source of a recipe. So I wonder if we have to basically try to get every recipe option, because I've gotten this one once before. I believe I gave the little dragon a chins in. But I think every time you want to do this, you gotta get the one where you groom and trim the tip that was sore first. Okay. 
Yeah, it seems Pots was right after all. Looks like I'll have to switch up the recipe. Roo. The Brody Deer, what's here then? Pet Hora, Roar. Normally, Hora can fish a whole bowl of fruit, and once he's done, he'll go on playing all day long, but now he only eats half a bowl, and he just sits there not moving the muscle. I'm so worried he might be ill, but I went to my bots in the middle of the night to ask his advice. The two of us spent the entire night trying to figure out what was wrong with him. We didn't realize he wasn't ill at all, just a very picky eater. Bot says that the best solution would be to find a new recipe. He said he could pick me a record that might simulate appetite. Perhaps it might help Hora discover his love for all the munchable. It sounds like a great idea. It's an idea such records existed. Ah, I know, right? He even found one for me. The music wasn't that bad, but we were forced to abandon an idea when Hora jumped up and bit the record in half. I was so shocked from Teposaurus's point of view, a recommend from the city in Fulgiston is a tasty treat in itself. My only option is to head over to the sides of the canopy and see if anyone there can help me find some new ingredients to try out. Go find some ingredients for you. I'm a pro when it comes to ingredient gathering. You really help me out. That would be terrific. My sound friends can only search for the not one, but you can source ingredients from anywhere, couldn't you? But when we look at the ingredients, spots recommend that the fellow knows a lot even about things beyond our borders. It says we've got rainbow roses, lavender melons, and chingzin. We did chingzin last time, so let's do lavender melon. So much for doing this, if you come across any good ingredients, just bring them straight back to me. Aru, aru. Okay. Let's give you a melon. And... I like the chins in. That's one big fruit. It should be enough to fill them up for the look of it. And so you go out at Hora. Aru, aru. Hora starts shopping away. Before long, it's all gone. Aru, aru. Ah, oh, gone in a flash. You must have liked that a lot, huh, kiddo? Aru, aru, aru. I'll go find bots in a bit. Actually, what am I talking about? I'd better ask around first and see if anyone knows where to find Inazuma and merchants. You get my hands on more lavender melons. Uh, yes, please take these for your trouble. It's your help, bots, and I should come up with the best recipe for Hora. Hora's already eating properly again, all right? That's how we grow into big, strong tepe with swords. Roo, roo, roo. Cool. So, we can collect. And then, of course, grind that domain a few times. Hmm. All right. Get some kindling books for Sheila Nen. As of right now, it's from nine nine nine. You need nine bronze, sixty three silver, sixty six gold. So we're about halfway there. This is equate to about the same amount of silver books. You got to multiply by three. That's fine. Not a bit. I also gotta figure out a good Cinder City set for Shulin to use. That said, you should also be able to deal good hits to good free and hits to the avatars of lava, given that they're so big. Okay, cool. Well, let's get this started. It's really just going to be Emily. Cool, and shoot. Nice, I... Mmm. Okay. This actually will help me get a few more. Okay. And blast. I... Mm. This is not as... crazy as I want it, though, to be fair. That's to compensate for Bennett, I imagine. Or that is not having Bennett. Cool. Nice. Hmm. I... It's not bad. But I feel a bit... Whelmed, so to speak. Oh, we got multiple. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, we should be able to get... Good to a closer end. Kindling books are on... Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. So again, I might want to actually wait until Wednesday to do my... Eh, yeah, I'll be fine. It's gonna say to save up. Condensed resin to use there, but eh, it'll be alright. It's not as money as an easy time here anyway. Okay. Cool. Thank you. And shoot. See how many we can hit. And shoot. We're doing well for ourselves, more or less. And come on. Oh, do we get hit out of sand somehow? That is rather curious. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> Just dead. Dead, dead. Now that is certainly something. Hmm. Well, alright. Guess we need to heal him up after every go around. That does not make me happy. Okay, this, I guess this is also an opportunity to craft the two remaining condensed resin. 
worth of other resin. Ooh, nice. So, go back real quick. Hmm. But it is interesting because the mention there that Phlegiston and Obsidian or how they make records is in part also an explanation of why Shilinen is both a DJ and a blacksmith. It's the way that record discs are made here, and to be fair, they, they might have made it that way just so that her character concept would make sense, but it's still put together relatively well. Because, of course, if record discs are literally made of stone and funny fire magic, people who work with stone and funny fire magic would be the ones making them. But the importance of obsidian as a material here is very, very interesting. It's a lot of that Aztec influence. Okay, let this started. Thank you. I would like some healing, that is true. And oh my goodness, that's a lot of hits taken. Come on, come on. I, ah, we are not really getting those blind spots working for us. That's a shame. Come on, come on. And we'll just do a couple of loop shots. There we go. He needs a bit of healing every go around, honestly. Meh. Definitely seems to aim a bit for the ground. Free aim is cool, but definitely need quick reflexes to make it actually do the job for you. So, what do we feed you? Give you some of that. I guess the one benefit of low HP is it's relatively easy to get you HP back with healing items. Okay, nice. And which way I... Mm, never mind. Actually going the right direction is a lot tougher there than I would like. Okay, come on. At least I can keep my distance. That does help. The fact that the lava pool there is... Constant damage dealing instance honestly makes it hard, harder to avoid with him. His constant movement generally works to stay away from enemies, especially big slow moving ones. The constant distance he keeps is really, really nice, but eh, it's not perfect and it doesn't have to be. Okay, cool. And I. Oh, oh, cool. Oh. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we got we got some limitations here. What in the Okay. I hate it here. Yeah, maybe I do have to go all the way back to the statue or something. That's sad. Or I could always just switch to Milani for the last one. Okay. Yeah, it's call it multicore, maybe. Mm hmm. Gotta go back and heal real quick. Sad. Either way, it... How is his... It's getting close to that first level. Hmm. Couple more runs, do those bounties, and that'll be the quest. Quest shouldn't take all that long, hopefully, because it is still... It's the biggest portion of the Travel Chronicle, but it's still just a part of the Travel Chronicle. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Over here. And increase or decrease is interesting. Okay. Cool. And shoot. Move around. Shoot. I, I didn't hold it like I should have. And shoot. Nice. So let's switch to Milani. Let's go for some bites. And, yeah, in the end, it's just a vaporize that works. It's hard to beat. Cool. Cool. And this should be rather nice here. I hope. 
And nice shoot and oh my oh what? Okay. Yeah, alright. Luckily we got elemental bonus this time. Should be really, really good. And the missile did it. Yeah, I And imagine how she literally power crept Nuviet back in beta. That's nasty. Hmm. Let's keep on going. Wrap that up. Do a couple of bounties and requests for canopy. And a couple for children of echoes. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a bit of crafting, figure out a team to use. Hmm. I thought if your money would be better there anyway, because her entire deal is that figuring out Pyro is half the point of her team. And if you've got Pyro figured out by constantly being on the enemy, well, that's not exactly a problem then. The biggest problem is already solved. Make all these we can. We need to leave nine. Good enough. Ooh, nice. Good amount of bonus. Got to leave 21, so we'll craft 12. Cool. There we go. No bonus that time, but yeah, we are most of the way to get enough for stealing it then. Cool. So we'll do a bit of reputation stuff and then meet up with Andro. Shows up in the funny quest. Hello there. I think he shows up there. I did not get to actually check the totem pole on the phone. So I didn't get to see him pop up like that, but should pop up like that if you check. No! Okay, if you check the Travel Chronicle or the Totem Pole. See them pop up like that. Yep, got him here now. Cool. Let us do one bounty there and... Oh, wow. Rift Houghton's now, so they've switched things around. The Fatui. Dendro res decreased. Vulnerability to Dendro damage. Oops. We... Do you know there's a motion says nine who's been around travelers around northwestern mountainous area of the Amanioka water? Seems like he was kicked out of the Fatui. His unsavory behavior decided to take a banished written head. Unbelievable. Some brave soul steps up teaches his villain a lesson, not because he thoroughly deserves it, but to deter other potential troublemakers too. Dendro res decreased. Yeah. Cracking armor for Dendro. Affiliated signs of the canopy, and we'll give you caca waddles. Quenapa, spray feather gill. We can actually just go and. Do a couple of supply requests. This one, too. The other one's here. Get me a good amount of the way there for when she went and does her stuff. Because next week, when you patch drops, doing Shonen's quest should mean that all of the tribes become in range of getting to max level by just hitting their exploration targets. That'll be interesting. And up a berry, spray feather gill. Okay, cool. Then two bounties. Hydro res decreased. This blasted monster's ambush me when I was exhausted from my long distance training run. If I remember correctly, they came from uh, the eastern mountains of Wheatsley Hill. I forgot the article. Thankfully, I pushed myself to the limit, grip my teeth, match, and make it back to my tribe. Otherwise, I might have ended up at this monster's dinner. And. Saw this one already. Pyro immunity, electro res decreased, dual zone. Interesting. So, well, which one? The one that will fight with Kinich will be up here. Okay. Put his good team in, and that'll be nice. Should work. Yeah, good Kinich team. Quote unquote. Honestly, I think. Let's just get enough for Bennett's burst real quick. Cool. Thank you. Nice. And right, we can just grapple straight onto there. Fun. 
So. It is interesting that it seems like his rope persists for West Hunt and the Yukasaurs. Oh, hello there. Alright then. Hmm. Oh, but that's also right. You want to run deal with Deep Wood. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Still good. Yeah, to make this team really pop, I should have a Deep Wood set running on Dia. Probably the one that Yao Yao and Baiju share. Perilous. Okay. And there we have it. Hello there. Hello. Just like this. And put this down. And here we are. Shoot. And. Shoot. And. I. Oh. Oh. Okay. That did hit, but. That was the problem. It actually breaks lock. Uh, okay, I. That is a curious development. Okay. And there we are. Cool. Ah. Alright. So we can. Come here real quick. Heal up a bit, but of course I will be. Boosting. It's all about that burning. Skill damage bonus is nice to have. Hmm. Electro, I could try using Sethos again, I suppose. Sure. Sethos team is silly and not that good, but we'll do it anyway. That would mean... Team is official. Sucrose. Kirara. And... Sethos himself. Himself. I could always... Why not? Why not? And... Not. Let me... Try this garbage out. Okay, he's close enough to a level. That's good. Okay. Bounties. Perilous. Okay. There we are. Shoot at you. Super time. And put this down. Now we go like this. And there we are. Get the weave. And one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, and get through that, and spin, we come down, try it like that, and here we are, gotta wait for some time, but two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and like that, Sethos is interesting, not good, interesting. That worked okay there. Okay-ish. Piercing all those foes is actually quite nice. And having no constellations could not have helped either, but we'll see. Hmm. We could. Let's let Milani try to take that guy down. Okay. The team I run with Milani is. I guess Adia could work there too. Meh. Well, as in Sack. Hida, Dia, Emily, Milani. Yeah, go down and do our final perilous bounty, and Children Echo should be pretty close. A little bit of exploration, she went in's quest, and. Well, that's funny if it. That model is still here from the day we did it. Okay. Let's do this. And... Just like that. Just like that. And... And... Face down. And... Bite! 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 Oh, real good damage. Nice. And... Oh, well, crit fail. Cool. I... Huh? 
That's just bizarre. Well, if that does it, it does it. Okay. Come on. So in that case, heal up and actually start. Story quest. Team all on a run. Honestly, I could go with these guys, but I think Deep would deal would do a good job then. Let's check real quick. Now represent. It's at Yep, there we go. So it's 800 for the final. So 200 more from exploration. 200 for the quest, and then 600 from doing all their bounty supply notice that week, and it's pretty much good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We're at 51. Be a bit. Part of me that actually wants to go and try to get them all the 60 before I start on the next Archon quest. Also, get the final Knights of Totems. One of them is over here, and I just never notice it, which is funny. It's a fish hook. The other one's in a puzzle around here, I believe. Hmm. Well, much to think about. Let's get all those reputations max, get all the totems max. Especially since you go in the Night Kingdom during the Archon Quest, presumably, and it'd be cool to see some of those wide proxies lit up. Either way, here it is. Travel Chronicles, perhaps the best way to truly understand the customs and traditions of voice, immerse oneself in them, listen to the worries and woes of those who are born and bred here, taste the unique local cuisine, or even more popular song, the adventures and stories shared with locals, surely become cherished memories of the passage of time, yada yada. So, and we got. Oh, right, another avatar because of Kinich. Right, okay. Mm. Check our quests. Huisan, among the signs of the canopy, a crisis that concerns the tribe's honor, even its very future, is quietly brewing away. Enable focus experience mode. And pay the signs of the canopy a visit. An unexpected encounter finds you just as you were planning to go to Elder Trinidad's dwelling. Hmm. So we will have our unexpected encounter with Kinich. Yeah, unexpected, sure. Alright, here we are. Oh, two of them. Okay. Habibito, <sighs> Paimon. Travel in Baman. You need fancy meeting you here. We've actually been looking for you. Hey there, nice to see you again. We'll get straight to the point. I hear accepted proposal from Elder Trinidad. Ah, the turn fire night, you mean? You were still his first choice. It's just. Geez, it's not what it looks like. Promise. A thaw. Chill, it's cool. Well, I mention it because there's something you should know, and I suspect Elder Trinidad hasn't been completely forthcoming with you. His true intention is to resolve the Mountain King problem once and for all. Once and for all? You mean this will be the last Turnfire Knight ever? That's right, he wants to use you to send the Mountain King to the Night Kingdom. Oh yeah, kill it. Plans to send it there. To the Night Kingdom, you mean, yeah. To his death. Yamano. To the King of the Dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you serious right now? You shouldn't go around. Forwarding accusations like that can get you in trouble. Do you want? Okay, I'll frizz more gently. There's potentially a possibility that Elder Trinidad may be hoping that during the course of the ceremony you kill the Mountain King dead. As opposed to all the other ways of killing something. Well, that's ridiculous. You told us the Mountain King is a living symbol of your tribe's glory. Also, a bit of a danger. And that glory comes at a price. And that's right, the Mountain King is a living symbol of our glory. And even this glory comes at a price. So, and yes, Nana wasn't the first. Some kind of corruption connected. Is it because of Commandant Nana and. Oh, that still shows that side of the flashback. Mm, she like it won't be the last to lose her life either. 
Still, is killing the Mountain King really the only way? Seems so extreme. How does he plan to kill him? Mountain King is a unique case when it comes to abyssal contamination. He's eaten away at him for so long that it's consumed him entirely and the damage is irreversible. The evil power is about to bring him insane and kept him alive over the centuries. So to look at it one way, once it's completely purged from his body, the Mountain King will finally be able to rest in peace. In past ceremonies, we only purge around half of the abyssal power. This was to strike a balance to keep him alive but also keep him asleep. Trinidad didn't say anything about how much power he wanted us to purge, but he did say there were some more details to go over before the ceremony. It sounds like you'll know for sure soon enough. If you asked us to kill the Mountain King, what should we do? If we're allowed out or death here, is it too late for us to back out? I know this must come as quite a shock, so I suggest you act like you didn't hear anything for now. But you have time to visit, but you have time to visit to the chief. After being with an elder of Trinidad, I'd like to make a deal with you. What kind of deal? And that comes at a very reasonable price. I'm sure you have plenty of other questions, but we can talk more later. Okay, we'll be there. Good, see you soon. Mapiru. So it's gotten started. Yubanki's turn fire, Act 3. Hmm. Go to Elder Trinidad's home. Now, of course, we can actually do a bit of grappling ourselves. It's fun. Let's see? Unexpected to counter funds you, yada yada. So when can I walk on? Oh nice. Pretty far away too. That might actually be a slightly longer range, honestly. Maybe. Ah, oh, Maddy Islanders, you have returned. Did you have a good rest? It was a pretty good, yeah? Mama? Glad to hear it. Things are progressing very smoothly on my end. Many of the elders have heard of your heroic deeds, including the chief. You will speak very favorably of you. There are still those who insist the ceremony should be formed by the bearer of the Maui Pope, turn fire name. But they're just stuck in the past, we need to move with the times. Plus, Kinish doesn't want to do it anyway. Exactly, so now it's time for us to discuss the finer details of the ceremony. Cover the firewatting part of the proceedings yesterday, the next part is the purification of the Mountain King. How does that work? It's quite simple, you just need to use the sacred flame. We've done it plenty of times before, and it's always very routine. I'm sure you won't have any problems. One point I'd like to stress, though, is that you need to burn away as much of the abyssal energy as you possibly can. The more we dispel, the longer the Mountain King will remain asleep, so, secret plan to kill it. Asleep, huh? Well, what she basically said was, is your purpose truly to keep it asleep? Precisely, in previous years, the flame bearer has often been unable to dispel sufficient amount of abyssal energy. So I reason why we have to perform the ceremony on a regular basis. You lying liar. But I understand that you have a lot of experience fighting against the abyss. You seem to rule the sacred flame quite ever it was yesterday. It's about a month ago. Not yesterday. With your help, I'm optimistic that this time we can dispel all the remaining abyssal energy from the Mountain King's body. Freeing us from this overwhelming threat for many years to come. Traveler? Got it? Anything else we need to know? So this doesn't phase you at all, huh? You clearly have a lot of confidence in yourself, huh? That's really all you really need to know. Well, the ceremony is in three days. Come and fetch you when we're ready. In the meantime, feel free to take a look around our settlement. It would mean a lot to the elders if you got to know some of your people. If you wouldn't mind helping you out with a few errands here and there, that would be even better. So now we have extra errands to run, maybe you should add a little extra to the price. Uh, just a humble suggestion that's all, it will help you gain the respect of our people and as a mighty hero. Truly believe that's what you deserve. I'll be sticking around over the next few days, so if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Seems like Kinich was right, we should go meet up with him right away. Where is he? Uh, over with the chief. Oh well. Ah, oh, you're here. Kitaka? Kini Trinidad said that. I can tell what's written on your faces. Mm. Why not? Chief, yeah. Is that Travel and Bama? Forgive me for not being there to welcome you at your arrival. That should have been my duty as chief. Oh, Chief Wana? 
Just said, why not? Oh, we heard the news from Trinidad yesterday, so as Kinich should invite you over for a quick chat. It's our pleasure. Ah, I believe Kinich has already filled you in, so I'll get straight to the point. Firstly, I fully endorse your appointment. It's fully embarrassed for the upcoming turn fire night. However, I would like to request that you take steps to ensure the Mountain King's safety. Every trial of our tribe, we're appealing the tales of our heroes from Yuponki the Firebringer to Burkina the Mountain King, who fought against the Abyss, and those are mentioned in Talking Stick. This is our history and our heritage, the source of our pride, and the center of our faith. To kill the Mountain King would be to destroy our spirit and never be able to face our ancestors in the Night Kingdom. Nana's death was a great tragedy, and I do not blame Trinidad for the actions he has taken. Nevertheless, I cannot allow any harm to come to the Mountain King. The roots of our identity are at stake. However, guests, please give this matter your serious consideration. Is there a solution that would satisfy both sides? Perhaps there is, but despite all our attempts to contain the situation, over the years we have not found it. Right now, I would like to hear where you stand on this matter. You know, I don't like being lied to. Pick the people who didn't lie to us. Four options, that was crazy. Well, since your mind is not yet made up, I'm still comforted by your words. There are three days left before the ceremony. I hope they will bring clarity, and I don't imagine that any of those options actually makes a difference. So, Kinich Uri, you were saying at Saki? Let's walk and talk, I'll show you around the tribe. Now, we're two. Pompa needs to get some air after this. Hmm. I think I'll walk with Kinich. We can. Do a bit of a grapple then. Yep, get over slightly faster. Somewhat. Kinich, Tom finally understands why he turned Trinidad down. You know what he was planning, didn't you? That's why he didn't want to be the flame bearer this time, because it's a double edged sword. The whole more thing was just a sneaky excuse. Double edged sword is right, but my response wasn't merely an excuse. To solve this exceptional problem, an exceptional price must be paid. I'm saying you have a plan. I'm working on it. Really? Well, come on then, let's hear it. Shete kure? Teach us. In a moment, did you have a question you were about to ask me? Oh yeah, what was it again? Oh right, we need to talk about Ahau. He's completely unhinged. It's important where is he today? He showed up in the last one. I agree that he has prompt. He's disappointing, so I hired him a teacher. Got him a teacher? Oh, Potman would love to see him get scolded for bad behavior. Anyway, moving on, when we ran into Aha, he said you two were investigating some abyss thing together. Is that related to the whole Mountain King situation? Yes, that's the angle I've been working on. Some way to basically have Angel help him control the abyss, or... I'm a Saurian hunter, but I occasionally hunt the abyss too. One time I was pursuing some purple demonic dogs. Ah, Riftalms, when I accidentally entered a hidden space. But a Sakiro. I did some research after the fact. Apparently there was beastly rifts and there are many of them of all different sizes. Ah, and those ones were at, those were in Fontaine. That's where those purple dogs were coming from. So, so if we can locate one of these beastly rifts, clear the monsters out, and move the Mountain King inside. He'd be able to continue living, but without posing a threat to the tribe. Interesting. So basically, put him in a little abyss pocket. Well, that sounds kind of crazy. Would it really work? It's not without its risk, of course. There's a lot of unknowns in the equation. For instance, for all we know, a prolonged period inside the rift can make the Mountain King's condition worse. Still, we desperately need something like this, even just as a temporary measure. Seeing the conflict, the issue is causing our tribes for ourselves. And believe me, it's been a long time coming. The chief is adamant about keeping the Mountain King alive, whatever happens. I um, can understand it's just about the Mountain King and more about preserving your culture and heritage. Bunka, the culture, yeah. I didn't notice it's spiky earrings. Yes, but on the flip side, you've got people like Elder Trinidad. It's more concerned about protecting the people he cares about now and into the future. And he has every right to take that view. It's one thing to try and preserve the last remnants of the glorious past, but it may be a kin pay the price for it. No one can seriously tell them that's a fair trade. You're right, there's no easy answers here. Let's leave that to one side for a moment and assume we go with your plan. How do you actually intend to find one of these beastly rifts? So at least in our experience, the dogs open the rift when they want to attack us, not the other way around. I think I know a way. Are you really going to do this? Probably with the angel. Do you have any better ideas? Not at the moment, but it just feels like using the power of for our own ends isn't going to end well. Or that might be what Night Soul is. Or it's probably Shady Death Roy, too, but... 
After all, the Abyss is what turned the Mountain King into a monster in the first place. People are going to think you've lost your marbles. If it doesn't end well, then that's the price we pay. Everything in the world comes at a price. But when Yupankwe, the Firebringer, stole the turn fire, it cost him dearly. The Mountain King's erratic outbursts have brought tensions within the tribe to a boiling point. Unless this gets resolved quickly, everyone will be stuck in a stalemate. Right, so what's this deal you wanted to make with us? We're hardly experts on exploiting imbecile power. All I need you to do is keep people away from me. I'm getting harassed on a daily basis by people trying to convince me to be the flame bearer. I can't afford to waste all my energy doing with that. If you help me out, there will be a gift for you in return. Oh, what kind of gift? Something well worth your while, I'll say. I'd say. Okay, but how do we keep people away? Just keep doing what you've been doing, ingratiate yourself with the traps, people, so everyone comes to terms with the fact that we have a new flame bearer. That way I won't have an endless stream of people coming to beg me to join the ceremony. I can focus on finding a way to summon the beast of rift. Then when the day of the ceremony comes, we'll move the Mountain King into his new home. Still sounds pretty crazy, even for a daredevil like you, that's dangerous. And even if it works, what if neither Chief Monon or Elder Trinidad are happy with it? We thought about what you do then? At least the two of them would finally be on the same side of the issue, leaving only me on the opposing side. Fun of being the bad guy. The tribe needs leaders like them for more than a story and hunter for hire like me. Though it sounds like there's no more in this for you. How can I take that to mean that we have a deal? You can give it a try. For sure, and who knows, maybe we'll come up with an even better solution to all this in the next couple of days. Great, well, for the next couple of days, we'd send some sun on the tribe and want to hand wherever you can. I'm sure everyone will be swept off their feet and meet our new flame bearer. Good luck to us both. Umaku ikokoto. Hope it goes well. That's there, and next is... I, flame bearer, walk around the tribe the next day. Following your deal with Kini, she prepared to walk around the tribe, making room for him to maneuver. To make it the required time. There we are. Kuni and Toba. Okay, task for the day. Meet the tribe so and take some heat off of Kinija's back. Also, should remember too is this. Well, actually, be saving up. Next week's transient resin for next patch, actually, probably. So we can use it for Shuan's boss, probably. Oh, and that's right, I have three blue fates to toss from leveling him. Let's take this to. Oh, wait. Kinesh was at 45. 46. Change the wrong thing on the marker. Okay. Let's go to 48. Normal. And we have 4 pity on event character banner. That's right. Second. Let's deal with my records. Okay. Three rolls real quick. Again, I can't imagine this will be much of anything, but... A Diacon would be real, real nice. There's always so much you can hope for. Thank you, yeah, nothing. Well, we get closer and closer to... Pity on... Standard. This time goes on. You're over here, hello. Toba and the girl, Huni. Huni, how can you call the Mountain King a monster? Because he hurt a lot of people, and look what happened to Nana. It's the kids from before, but we, but it wasn't on purpose. The Mountain King is sick, and that's all. He's been hurt by the abyss. That's true, but the fact remains that he's now a threat to all of us. How can you be so harsh to someone who's sick? If you don't take back what you just said, I don't know if we can carry on being friends. Toba, Huni, what's wrong? I said Funi. Like Hu Tao was Fu Tao. When he's saying nasty things about the Mountain King, it's not right he's our hero. Hmm, once upon a time, maybe, but not anymore. Su Hakinen Naini. Some hundred years before. And now it's not fight, aren't you best friends? Hmm, yesterday, maybe, but not anymore. Toba, fun, I guess my dad is right, things change, and you just have to accept it and move forward. As of today, our friendship is over, there's no going back. 
Come on, cut it off, you two. We have some great news to tell you. Trevor is going to be the flame bearer for the next Trimfire Night. He's going to do a beautiful ceremony and kill the Mountain King's illness for good. Somehow. What, really? Of course I'm an expert at this stuff. So that's what my dad wanted to talk to you about. To be fair, from what we saw the other day, you are pretty good at calling quips, probably just as good as Kinich. Wait, speaking of Kinich, where even is that guy? Kinichi Onishan. Yeah, good question. He's not coming to the ceremony anymore. You get him to come, but if he catches you two fighting again, he won't be happy. He'll be sure to give you both a piece of his mind. No, we can't let that happen. I've never even spoken to him before. I can't afford to make such a bad first impression. I didn't mean to argue with Toba. All I said was that the Mountain King has done some pretty bad things. He was the one who turned it into a fight. You two clearly care about each other. The Mountain King can't change that. Yeah, if you weren't friends, there's no way Toba would have come to look for the baby story with you. All right, well, because it's the traveling Pokemon and Kinich, I'm sorry, Toba. Sorry for all the mean things I said about the Mountain King. Matageru? Yeah, I just really miss Nana, and I was really upset that she's gone, too. Uh oh, uh. I shouldn't have spoken to you, though I did either. It wasn't very nice of me. The Traveler, Paimon, Kinich, and Bernana, I'm sorry to have hey. It's more like it, now you're best friends again. Guess so, Toba, if I ever say something mean about the Mountain King in the future, I'll make sure I say it to someone else and not you. I better go buy some colored cloth for my dad now, he needs it for Trunvar now. Let's play again some other time. See you, Toba, see you, Traveler, and Paimon. Okay. Huh. Okay, I'll head home as well then, see you next time. In the Kairu. Go home. Hmm. Okay, take care, you two. Let's get in the zoo. Uh, even though they said they're sorry, it looks like their friendship isn't as strong as it was before. Times really are changing. So, let's just hope we can solve this once and for all. Come on, the Ono Monda and the Mountain King problem. Come on, let's move on. Continue walking around the tribe. I wonder if they're around. No, they have some. F There's some funny messed up dialogue here, too. Oh, what's going on over there? Let's take a look. Oh, there's a record disc. There's the dance. Hmm. Oh? Hey yeah, there, what's happening here? A rehearsal for the Trimfarnet dance, Thiago. Ooh, there's a dance involved. Punk and what's going too. You don't know it? I guess you're not from these parts, huh? It's rare to see a new face around the tribe these days. I thought everyone would be keeping away. Ah, oh, why do you say that? Because of the true and fire night, of course. The Mountain King could wake up at any time. That's why we're holding an emergency ceremony. This isn't one of those funny games festivals for outsiders. It might even be a little dangerous. Well, did you know that the Flame Bearer this time is actually going to be an outsider? Oh, I did hear about that. It's a first for sure. I would have loved to meet him in person. And now you have, it's me. What? Oh, it's you, man, oh man. Well, this is a nice surprise. It's funny, I was just thinking that I'll probably miss out on meeting a new flame bearer since I'm not taking part this time around. But suddenly, there you are. It must be my lucky day, huh? Not taking part in turn fire at Alcom. You're not an outsider, too, are you? Oh, you must be joking. Watch this. Grab a hook? Or. What's he doing? Just as a dance? Yeah, just the dance. Okay. Not bad, right? Yeah, I'm considered one of the better looking guys who dances beneath the pillars of the sacred flame. Been doing it a few years, always gets the ladies out to watch. Ah, uh, uh, very impressive. So, why did you quit? Well, I feel like the whole Mountain King situation is getting more and more precarious. It's just not safe here anymore. One of our elders, sworn companions, even lost her life that long ago. Yeah, nah, nah. The question is, what are we going to do about this in the long term? But our leaders don't have any answers for us. They're probably too busy fighting about it amongst themselves. The way things are going, it's only a matter of time before it gets violent. So I figured, you know what? Now is as good as time as any get away for a little, a little while. Dude, go do some exploring. Look a little disappointed. Disappointed? Now it's a great opportunity to go see the world, as every male sign in the canopy knows. Wherever you are and wherever you go, the only way is forwards. I take pride in that. I won't forget my roots. Fair enough, so what's your plan for the next step? Yeah, I managed to get in touch with the Saurian Relics Association. They gave me a simple test, but a decent quality relic, and they'll make me a member. It's the Saurian Relics Association, the people who helped us with our little dragon. Never heard of it? It's a group of amateur history enthusiasts who do research on the ancient Saurian era. All about collecting relics and remnants from that age. Speaking of which, the guy who was flame bearer before you, I've heard of this soaring buddy, it comes from that time. Hmm. Oh, oh right, I have. I wonder who his teacher is. Maybe Enjo. Sort of monitoring there. 
Ah, how ah has a relic from an ancient Saurian civilization. Ah, uh, yeah, him. So you know this too already, huh? Then do you know how they met? It was deep inside some mysterious ruin, and they signed a contract there. The association folks say that kind of contract usually comes with a huge hidden cost. Really, that sounds ominous. Who knows, but if it's true, Kimi should probably handle it. He knows what he's doing with laying up contracts and costs and stuff. I doubt he'd make a contract that doesn't benefit him. Strangely enough, I actually happened upon a stranger mural a while back. It looked to me like it was depicting a Sorin and a human involved in some sort of kind of Sorin era contract ritual. Who does that count as a relic then? But it does, I was all ready to go take a picture and use that as my entry ticket to the association. Now, for all the abyssal activity recently, I heard that area's been over on my monsters. I said, Plan Sun, I'll just wait and see if things improve. Well, you look like you know where you're to fight. I don't suppose there's any chance you'd be able to help. All you need is to get a picture, that should be pretty achievable, right? Travel videos with monsters all the time, it's a piece of cake. But you're seriously gonna help me out? Come on, it's no big deal. Compared to some things we've been roped into before, this is nothing. Pyro Arc on above, you two have hearts of gold, you know that? For the kind of people who could dive into the turn fought or deep in the bowels of the Night Kingdom. And it wouldn't burn a single hair off your head. Take that as a compliment. Of course it is, alright, come with me, I'll show you the way. Good location, the mural indicated by Thiago. That's all the way in here. Interesting. Well can do a little bit of moving around. So this is what's going on with this place. Okay. That's cool. So. Oh, actually, it's right there. Oh, and I've seen that mountain thing before. There it is. It's inside these ruins. As you can see, this place is crawling with monsters. Alrighty then, stay back and take cover, Thiago. This could get dangerous. We'll take care of them. We might sink a lot, huh? I'm not about to crank her style. There we go. So, fend off the monsters. Does not seem to actually be around anyway. Funny way to handle this would be using flame granites, but there aren't any immediately nearby anyway, so. Let's give Dia someone else's deep wood set. Wimp. Hat. Sands. Yep. And here we are. We got our deep wood going. Let's make this happen. Come on and thank you and one shot. Nice. That should give me another real quick and keep on shooting and cool. That's pretty good. And ah, uh, we. Missed our window. No way. Come on. Come on. I, okay. Please. And. Does have its limitations. Cool, cool. And. Blast. Ooh, okay. Well. Not bad. Examine the mural. This is. Yeah, that should be the last of them. It's a good thing Thiago had the sense to stay in his hiding place where things could have gotten really hairy for him. Oh. Hey, look, that's gotta be it, right? Yeah, that looks like a mural. It's a bit like a Yumkasaur. You know, if I house Dandra, you'd presume he'd be a Yumkasaur, but to be fair, should we have enough information? It's a little on the small side. Hmm, true, now that you mention it, most ancient murals take up a whole huge wall. This looks more like some of the paintbrush got bored and started doodling. It does match the story you told us, though. There's a Saurian and a human. So is that supposed to be what an ancient contract or ritual looked like? Yeah, whatever, we're not here to decipher it, just photograph it. Snap, take a picture of the mural. Right here. Camera's been adjusted to the correct angle. Why not save it? Cool. All those memories. Turn to where Tiago is. That's a wrap, let's take it back to Tiago. Yeah. Over there. Hmm. Thank you. Alright. You've been robbed, oh punch it, and I thought my luck was bad. I put blood, sweat, and tears into that, and now I've got nothing to show for it. Some gap tooth goon stole it from me. Ancient name scholar. Hmm. 
See, so like it was this the picture we were looking for? Let me take a look. Yep, that's the one. Power arc on above. You two are superhumans. But check it out. Hey, Ponche, come and say hi to these guys. They're going to be the new flame bearers and they're tough as nails. Wait, are you the traveler in Paimon? Habibito-san? To Paimon-san? Well, you already know each other. I don't think so. My nephew Toba has been telling everyone about you. He says you're crazy strong, super friendly, that you helped him out. That you're going to be our flame bearers this turn fire night. That's your Toba's uncle. Great to meet you, sir. Sounds like we managed to make a bit of a name for ourselves, huh? Already? I was not wrong, my friend. These two are honestly some of the nicest, most genuine people I've ever met. Everyone speaks incredibly highly of them. Seriously, if you're comfortable telling them about what happened, I guarantee you they'll sort it out in no time. Really, all I want is to get the fruits of my labor back. You want me to explain? Ponche is a woman scholar and a tribe author of the widely famed book, Ipaki's Turnfire. Oh, so we got a book there. Fortunately, the book was stolen by a treasure hoarder a few hours ago. I spent years of my life researching that book. I visited every last ruin and freed every descendant of every hero in our history. I read Maloipo Turnfire alone. I covered at least five different interpretations of the meaning. This on accounts for different villages. It's an unparalleled masterpiece. Now it's all gone, that little goon ambushed me during my morning walk. Snatch all my belongings, including my entire manuscript. Might have been injured, well that'd be funny. The book was everything to him, it's like they robbed him of his soul and they took it and him lost and listless. It's a show of the man he was. To your honor, yes, our clan, I am but to help us old student. Well, if you're Toba and Theaco's sake, please help me, I beg of you, where were you ambushed? So what I mean, Ponche, now that you've run into these two, your luck's about to change big time. I don't know if he's still there, but come on, I'll take you. Hmm. Help Poncha recover the stolen book. And they're over there. Oh, so. I bet there's some Enjo involvement here. Right here. By the way, we do have. D and Kinich working together now, which is nice. So, in that case. Let us. Come on down. And you are- Oh! Actually, just some guy. New outfit. Konoyaro. Hey, you thieving rat, give me my things back. Eat hands, Matthias. Octopus. What do you want now, you old bum? Got your waste of space. Try to get your butt first into a tree hole. Dare you to try. Oh, what's this? Part of old bodyguard here, huh? Oh, Alright, let's see what you got. Watch this. It's like, oh, just throws mod. Runs away, and... Well, let's chase you. Catch up to Eat Hands Matthias. Trying to get away. Hey, let's chase him down. Well, that was quick. Just grapple. Yeah. Stop, please. About wars, heroes, gods, and kings. Kami-sama. Yamete kure. Mo hashire ne. Can't run any longer. Please, I don't have your stuff anymore. Have mercy. Oh, yeah? Well, where is it, then? I threw it away. Threw it away because it was a worthless thing. The old bum's bag didn't have a single more in it, just a tatty old book, worn out pens, and some old rags. All that time lying in wait was for nothing, I was so mad I just threw all of it away. Hmm, is that really the truth? Okay, then, where did you throw it away? Same place you found me, I surround the Pyro Archon, it's the truth. May all my worldly possessions be turned to ash by Turnfire if I'm lying. Okay, that's a pretty strong oath. What do we do now? It sounds like it's telling the truth. Let's go back to where we were and see if we can find anything. Alright, let's hope nobody gets to the book before we do. We'll never get it back then. Well, a hidden cave. Anjo and Kini Trukishon. Yeah, but imagine you got the book somehow. Uh-huh, <clears throat> but... There's an item twinkling there. That must be a cave we've been to. Maybe that cave right under Kawatapak. Maybe. Although the Turnfire is a heroic symbol in Wheatsland, it also comes with more ominous implication of eventual tragedy. It's so true for all bearers of its ancient name and recorded history. Each one of them died of non-natural causes, as if the specter of the Turnfire was always lurking in the background. It appears to suggest the existence of the higher power that is always watching the name bearer, examining their actions, eventually demanding payment in return. None can escape this payment, unless perhaps they could honestly swear by Turnfire to never make a single mistake in their entire life. Might be, ah, uh, how? Punky's Trunfire, no Kayin. What an incredible work on ancient name Philology. Just a Jarrah Tolkien. I can't believe it was just lying there for me to take. Let me see, the author was Ponche, a nice a gentleman and a scholar. Sounds a book muncher. But Kuho Aha will suffer your droning voice no longer. 
You're truly find no joy at all in pursuing perusing such a rich historical records. Truly what joy is there in this pointless drivel? Well, it makes a pretty shocking prediction. Every bear of the ancient name Bolly Bow Turnfire eventually gets a grisly end. Maybe that's the price you pay for the name that means price. Or revenge repayment. What, you're saying Kinch will die a violent death? Ma, huh? So I'll finally get to take over his body. When will that gory state arrive? The great Kuhu Aha demands to know. Oh, you were just irredeemable, weren't you? An agent of chaos down at the core. You make us a misorder folks look like saints in comparison. Sounds maggot. You presume that anyone compares your kind with the great Kuhu Aha is sheer vanity. When that day ever comes, your doom will soon follow. Hey, you don't need to lecture me about doomsday. Here's what I know based on countless historical texts. All civilizations will be reduced by rub reduced to rubble by the passage of times. From ancient kingdoms to heavenly thrones to worlds beyond, there are no exceptions. But from the ruins of every civilization, the dust will rise and never settle. Thus transcending the confines of time, that dust is what we call a civilization's spirit. Hmm. A new great Kuhu Aha would want such speck of dust from a bygone age. Here, do it for the chance to observe you up close. Now, let me take a good look at you. We'll see whether any memories of the age still remain inside you. Has they got some kind of mind melt power? <laughs> oh, it's nice to see Enjo again. We're so sorry, Mr. Porsche, but we couldn't find your manuscript anywhere. Does that mean all of my hard work was for nothing? You gotta say positive points, eh? Might have lost the book, but the brains behind her are so intact. Sure, you remember the main points at least. The whole reason I worked so hard to get it finished before the turn fire night is because I hope that maybe it might help us find a way through these trying times. But now, you mean you saw the Mountain King problem? Well, not exactly, but I thought my research might at least be a starting point. Oh, really? So, what did you find out in your research? I think the key to all this lies in the power of Molly Coke, Turn Fire. Ponche, you know as well as anyone that ancient names don't hold any real power. Small power doesn't count. Well, we'll see. You're right, but Molly Poe Turn Fire may be a special case. Given that it first arose in the era of the first Pyro Archon, why contain remnants of Shivalante's power? Yeah, I remember that story. My grandpa told it to me when I was a little kid. Maybe you're the special case. Most kids stop believing that stuff by your age. But Earthshaker was exposed to the weapon that Yuponki guy, who was burned to ash when he was turned back and looked at the big magic fireball he was stealing from the Mad King in the old Ushka Nawan city in the northwest of Nawan. Maybe with a special case, most kids stop believing that stuff by your age. I'm not talking about childhood superstitions here, there is evidence. Like what? Like the fact that the Mountain King is still alive, everyone attributes that to the power of the Abyss, but there's more to it than that. The key factor is that Burkina summoned the power of Mali Pope Trinfire, the cost of his own life. If you don't believe me, then answer me this. How many other creatures can you think of who have longer got shorter after being contaminated by the Abyss? A trouble or a different situation with similar idea? Does this remind you of the Hillatrils? We can't talk about that. Shh. So I guess Hillatrol's being human is basically a secret. So I came to the conclusion that Malipo Turnfire must refer to some mysterious ritual involving a tit for tat exchange. It began with the first Pyro Archon, fell with the Grand Alliance, then was buried in the Night Kingdom, and now awaits the call of its new bearer. Hmm. So I guess that implies that Ahau might have some specific connection to the Turned Fire, maybe? Maybe it's some sort of Changsheng situation where... No, Changsheng doesn't lose her memories. It might be a sort of reincarnates for each bearer, each contractor, and loses most of his memories each time? I don't know. Hey, sorry to interrupt Ponche, but you seem to be getting a little overexcited. Sorry, I was originally planning on presenting my findings to Kinich. I'd hoped you would be attending the upcoming ceremony. But it's just like how Moja was passed down from Tupac to Milani. I didn't even think about it, but yeah, I suppose that Burkina would have been. Turn fire as well. And here he is! It sounds to me like you dreamed up one fanciful theory to support another. Ah, Kinich, what are you doing here? It's him again, finally back after all of our errands done without him. Although I did run around Aston, because, you know, more screen time the better. I more or less finished what I was doing, so I came to have a quick catch-up, and now a good time. 
Can you remind us something? I haven't worked out all the details, but, but you have to attend the turn final night. This story quest is apparently kind of a mid one, according to what I've heard. Let's see how things turn out. I'm gonna wonder how they're actually gonna have us test him. So I don't think they're gonna have a little dungeon like they did with the Milanis. Uh, so Mr. Ponce here has done a lot of research on the history of the turn fire. Again, the magic fireball that burns you if you look back at it. Very pillar of salt kind of thing. And thinks he might have found a way for you to solve the problem. I'll be there, Ponce. Let's go. So we're gonna actually get to do our little mini game now. We'll see what happens. Go off to the side and chat with Kinich. Go there a little faster with the Kachina car. And here we're going. Let's make this happen. So, here we'll do. If you found a way to summon a beastly rift. Yeah, I'd like your help giving a trial run tomorrow. If that works, we have our plan to turn fire night. And again, the beastly rifts were a mechanic in the first Fontaine patch where you could fight a group of rift towns that were basically magic circles. Very abyssal purple, too. Sounds like you're not considering Ponce's idea. You heard him, he hasn't worked out the details yet. We need a more practical solution with concrete steps to follow. Yet, are you saying you think you might actually be on to something? I think it's possible based on something I know about the war 500 years ago. That's... Ah, CG. Burkina didn't fall to the abyss, he was killed by the Mountain King in an episode of Madness. Oh, well, that's a very abyssal Mountain King, you see that? Fire in his eyes. Ah, but that's Burkina, okay. I believe we're getting that spear in next patch. In his final moments, Burkini made the fateful decision. Or actually, I think that's that might be Footprint of the Rainbow. Made the fateful decision not fight back, and said passes blood and power onto the Mountain King. So presumably there's a connection from between the Mountain King and the name now. Maybe he thought the Mountain King was stronger than him and more valuable to the tribe. Maybe it was just out of loyalty to his friends. But what that does show is that. Kongamado was that big even 500 years ago. Either way, I can believe that the turn fight was involved. Whether, you think, the sacrifice triggered it or his fate was sealed from the moment he took the Malipo name, it makes sense to me. Hmm. How can you drop these truth bombs with such a straight face? This is what I've gleaned from my many interactions with the Mountain King. His mind is so disordered, it took some time to piece it all together. Hmm. But he's accepted the idea that having that name will screw him eventually. The story Elder Trinidad told me was a more palatable version of events. The truth is even darker. Mountain King's mind isn't just disordered, he has suffered and feels great shame. I believe he wants to be put out of his misery. What then? What, then what should we do? Should we grant him his wish? Of course not, we should help him move to a new home. So your goal hasn't changed, it's the only practical solution. The Mountain King is a hero to my tribe, an object of worship even. I think his life would be like desecrating a statue. Still, he's been the cause of multiple disasters, we can't afford to have any more. Well, practical solutions hurt Paimon's brain, can we follow our hearts next time? Oh, that was a break for the day, I've already found a suitable venue for tomorrow. Wait until the next day. Hmm. Should probably be the final part of the quest, maybe? Let's see. Eight o'clock tomorrow. Let's make this happen. So, oh, it's still the same one. Meet up with Keenage over where? Over here in the cave. So is this where Angel was? It may have been. Hello. We're here very punctual. Exactly on time. Uh huh. So the gruesome twosome come crawling back here to make amends after the most reverence you displayed all this time. Very well, the amount of dragon work for a house or grant you the audits that you seek now pucker up and kiss our feet. Dot dot dot. Free. Kinich didn't say he found a teacher, he's just as out of control as ever. 
No one gets disappointed with your money drag, but Kuho, ah, how no one. How do you put up with this behavior? Maybe because I never had a gentle natured companion like Paimon to compare against. Oops. Is that a compliment? Yeah, I see what I'm missing out on now, and it's a lot. Can you we could drown this measly flying ant in one drop out of spit? A very compared to their mighty dragon, Kuho Aho. So wait till I possess your dead body, I'll commit heinous atrocities. Tear down your legacy, destroy your reputation, and wreak havoc on your. So he might, I don't know, maybe he would try to burn himself up in the turn fire or something. Who knows? Travel with Palmon, let's get down to business. As you've opened the beastly rift, you're welcome to toss Aho in there for a couple days. Pleasure, you don't need to ask twice. Got my hands on this device in a trade. I think that's a bit like... I don't remember exactly how it looked, but similar to the pylon. We had to destroy during the Argon quest. One with Milani, saving the people of the springs. It's meant as bait, but also stable as the abyssal energy. The Rift will tear their space to get to this. Once they're here, we take them out and claim the Rift for ourselves. How did you get your hands on this? Go find out soon enough. Let's try, first, let's try this out. All right. Now, Manny, we got a flight. Clear the Rift hands out. Tear to pieces, give it half the chance, so be careful. Oh, and we have it. Trial Kinichu now. Cool. Nice. And shoot. Shoot. And let me see. Wait, this? Trial Kinichu. Oh, no, it's just already over. <laughs> That's what happened. It already ended. Trial Kinichu is gone. Oh, are there even bigger ones on the way? Oh, well, it's just Anjo. Hi there. See, Kinich, I'm a man of my word. In fact, I'd say under promise and over-delivered. If you want with Gizmo, isn't it? What is interesting is that here they're going to call him the thing calling itself Sanka in the same way that in, in Kanemiya it wasn't Enjo, it was the thing calling itself Enjo. So if we ever get playable whatever this guy's name is, and we better. I feel like he would have an entirely different appearance. Even if he has... You is the same appearance twice. And probably a real name. I hope. I take it this is your true form. Now that our deal is complete, it's time to start the next phase of our relationship. Made a promise to the great Kuhu Ahau, and now I'm here to seize your body for his use. Koshe, I know the hero's trusted partner sells him out to the abyss in a shocking act of betrayal. Cue bad guy speech and drawn out death sequence. Huh, Angel. So you recognize him. Ha ha, what are you two doing here? Oh, Mr. Kinichi, this is not what we agreed on. Ah, uh, Kinichi Dona, Lord Kinichi. Traveler, this is the gift I got you. I know you're looking for intel on the Abyss Order, so I thought he might be of use of you. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of double crossing and working behind the scenes going on here then. But it looks like you've already met, and we've met, I've beaten him up before. Like frosty reception. Gotta say, I kind of pictured this moment going a little differently. Here's of joy welling up in your eyes as you say the words. It's good to see you again, old friend. Sashibori. Don't be ridiculous. Sounds like you've been reading too many romance novels. Shosetsu. You have the thing calling itself Sanka. But... Does that mean we put the dots together, or is that just still information that he's Sanka? Oh, well, they say that right there, never mind. There we have it, change is inevitable and nothing lasts forever. What a pity. Well, then time for you to meet the new me. This time, please call me Sanka. Sanka, uh, so you're a glasses guy, the Tricuni and Toba, to tell you a bunch of stories. What's your real name? What does it matter? A name is a superficial label. It's what's deep down inside that counts, and I've shown you the deepest parts of me. In the masochistic parts. <laughs> that would explain a lot. Well, so would he show up here and start acting like a wise guy, looking for a fight? Yeah, I'll pass. I'd ra rather like you, as, as I've said before. My one quibble is that you really don't know your own strength. And what are you doing here? Wait, of course, you're the one behind all the recent abyss activity. I found one guess you've been provoking the Mountain King, too. Haven't I told you before? I'm not part of the inner circle of Majora Highness's bidding. My interests are for more low stakes. I... I feel like we're gonna have to get him playable somehow eventually. They did give him an image for my tent. Then also Jet for Valentine's. It's been my time taken for truth in ancient doodads and books. You really think a benchwarmer like me is capable of more than that? Mr. Elector. If 
they released him, I honestly wonder whether he'd have this ring catalyst as his catalyst. I investigated him, he's not connected to the recent events, just happens to be in the area. So I struck a deal with him, he helps me summon a rift, I'll let him do some historical research. But that's all over, now Kinyin wants, wants to hand me over to you, while well, I was hoping this would be an opportune moment to whisk away his body. That would have given me some more time to study the great Kuhu Ahau. But now I've run into you, which is just my luck. Maybe I've been set of the wrath of the Turin Father, and this is the price I have to pay. But I don't understand. What did I do wrong? Trick Tuning in Toba. Where does that count? Let me think. Well, Hiwatashka. What did I do on that day? So basically, he kind of forgot. Uh -huh, you are the worst of the worst, colluding with the abyss order against Kinich. How could you betray your partner? There is no betrayal. The almighty dragon with Kuho Aha was a partner to no one. Nakamad, they are nigh. Don't worry, I told him to act as bait. Yes, and you should have picked a bigger fish. The abyss order, what a joke. Not even a match for a lowly servant. I put up with this toad's clothing for days, and it was all for nothing. Looks like your disciplinary measures have been less ineffective, Mr. Enjo. Yeah, what did you expect? Behavioral rehab isn't really our thing at all. Otherwise, we might as well change our name for the best order of the best boarding school. What do you say there? Shikana can be done. Helped. Oh, so... The, the pun there was basically Abyss Kyodan, Abyss Order, Abyss Kyoiku, basically Abyss Education. But half the word sounds the same. So it's legitimately a pun there. The Abysmal Disorder would suit you better. Can you just pose of it? He is of no further use to us. What does it say? What does it say? Okay. Which is basically garbage teaching. Okay. It sort of progresses from one to two to three. Okay. Traveler. Be my guess. The Abyss Order is a threat to us, so I'll let him go. He'll never amount to much in the Abyss Order anyway. Does this actually change anything here? Let me see. Do you actually have a choice on whether to fight him or not here? Let's see. Thing calling itself Sanka. And if you... Okay, so either way he just runs away. Let's be nice then. I like fighting, but if it doesn't make the difference between getting to fight and not. Let him go, he'll never amount to much in the Abyss Order anyway. See, this is why I like you. Affection game. Still, you shouldn't underestimate me just because I'm a lowly clerk. <clears throat> I could never beat you in a straight-up fight, but when it comes to running away, I won't lose to anyone. Okay. Do me a favor and remember how fast I disappear. Maybe then you'll show me a little respect next time. Okay. But that rift is actually more like the one that the Golden Wolf Horde comes out of. Interestingly enough, now that I see it, Darn, got away again. Couldn't you have stopped him? It's alright, he's not worth our time and energy. Besides, it seems like he's in debt to a lot of people. I'm sure they'll keep him busy. Hmm. Well, if you say so, so Pamon's kind of surprised they actually struck a deal with someone from the Abyss Order. To borrow that guy's words, names are superficial labels. If you call it the Abyss Order or anything else, it's a broad generalization at best. Think of it like apples that have fallen from a tree. If you taste each one, you find that they're all at different stages of ripening. If the unripe fruit worn off its branch before it's fully grown can still be brewed into a fine wine. Everything has its use. Oh, well, in that specific case, maybe Andrew's not such a bad apple, not rotten to the core, at least. Yeah, I feel like they're definitely setting up as playable. Of course, only the almighty dragon went cool. Aha, uh -huh, was rotten to the core, and evil beyond redemption. Uh, so what exactly are you anyway? Definitely the evilest little thing Pondman's ever met. Don't worry, he can't hurt a fly, and because he signed a contract, you could see that. Something like that. Uh, Paimon heard that those kinds of contracts might come with a terrible cost attached. Is that true? Such as, I'll have walking, watch me like a ravenous vulture. 
Vulture, Vulture, we are the Dragon Supreme Sovereign Ruler of the Nation of Flame. Let's pick this up another time. It's getting kind of late. Should go back and get some rest. Big day ahead. Tomorrow's from Fire Night. To the light of the Sacred Flame and burn away the filth for a legendary 500 year old warrior. Yeah, hearing you wait out like that is making Paramount a little nervous. For all the work we put in, it all comes down to tomorrow night. We have to make sure we solve this problem once and for all. They can't hurt to say this one more time. Good luck to us both. Good luck to us both. See you tomorrow. And it's... Oh, okay, the rift is gone now. The last true and fire night. And yep, that's the final part of the quest. Having finished your preparations, the last true and fire night approaches. What happened to getting some rest? I'm still a little anxious about Injo. Cautious like me, I get it, but don't worry. Like I said, I investigated and I'm confident he has nothing to do with the mounting situation. Before he got tangled up with us, he was looking to the Mari Javari. Ah, more clones. That's another major part of Not One's history. Our ancestor Burkina once fought a campaign there, alongside the five other heroes, and presumably. Tenok. But Tenok was tribeless. But it's not such an easy place to get to these days. That's about all I know, though. I have yet to take a job that involves the Mara Javari. So is it extra-dimensional, then, maybe? Maybe in the Night Kingdom? I'm pretty curious about Ahau. Ahau yeah, speak your interests, huh? It's true that he is a relic from the earlier story and age. But since we're bound to each other by a contract, you can see it as my companion for now. I know he can be awful, but don't worry. As long as I'm still around, he can't do that much damage. As long as you're around. Hmm, that's a key part of the contract. Ahau uh, has to obey my orders and I'll be his power for as long as I live. And after I die, Ahau uh, gets control of my body, and that's the price. Crazy, isn't it? That was probably the first time I really appreciate what it meant to pay a price. And once I signed the contract, I received the ancient name Maui by Turn Buyer. So I suppose that maybe in that case, Ahau uh, has always been involved with Maui Boat stuff, but behind the scenes? Maybe it just shows up to anyone who pays a significant price like that. That's a whole other story. We can get into it another time if you're interested. Hmm. Either way, Mario Javari Chromes. Now, this is presumably where they were. Eh, okay. In that case. I wonder what this dot is. Single item. Could I even come here before? Mance of Monitu murals. That's interesting. This place. Oh! This is where the graffiti stones get used. In that case, I think I'll come back next patch. Got a couple of those from... Various spots. I think I got one from a little cave around here. Around here in the veins, and then a rock by the ancestral temple. I wonder where the others might be. One is probably in the underground lava cave. Some things in there just in general. Let's Climb our way out. Oh, goodness. That was not how I wanted to do that. Okay. And we can come back, change the time. He'll probably leave, I would imagine. Tomorrow at night. Oh, and he's already disappeared. So they. At least if it's quest related, I suppose. That NPC movements are calculated before the animation actually plays out. Cool. Go to Elder Trinidad Town. I... I'm gonna take a real quick bathroom break real quick. I said real quick twice. Oh, wrong one.
Okay. Second. Finish this out. Back on screen. Let's do this thing. Cool. D8. Let's go back to the totem pole. Make something beautiful happen. Mm. Trinidad zone. Here we are. Well, let's get this started. Is ah at long last you're back, Mate Tazo. I hear that you've done much for people these last few days. I've heard nothing but praise for you. Many young people have heard the rumors too. They're all eager to meet our new flame bearer. Well, they won't have to wait long. It's almost time for the ceremony. We really hope we can resolve the mountain situation quickly and smoothly. Seems like a lot of people have been worrying about it, huh? Oh, well, it's nearly time, so if you're ready, you can follow me to the ceremony site. The party can't be changed during the turn of our night ritual. Please choose a suitable party in advance. So we got Pyro, good. Let's head off. Yes. Off we so go. Actually, it's interesting. Is that if we close it out, we have to talk to Keenich to restart the minigame. Here we are. Our honored guests have arrived. I've heard much about your fun work over the past few days. I hope you're also thank you properly after tonight's ceremony. Don't worry about it, getting this huge venue ready must have been a huge task. Maybe make extra work for yourselves on our account. It means getting the non-king issue resolved and the price is too great to bear. A resolution will come in due course, but have a great fire starts as a tiny spark. Let's take it one step at a time. No one would disagree with you if that were possible, Chief, but it's been far too long since we've seen a real step forward. Look around you, can't you see our numbers have dwindled since the last turn fire night? The ceremony was arranged on short notice. Many are away from home and could not make it back in time. And maybe so, but still. Good evening, travel and Paimon. Kimich, not a moment too soon. The house over there is... What is that house over there? Chief Juana, Elder Trinidad, could you give us a minute? I'd like to give Traveler the corners of the previous flame bearer. Very well, we'll make it quick. Let me know when you're done and we'll begin the ceremony. Step this side. Has anyone gone over the key steps of the ceremony with you yet? Yeah, Elder Trinidad did, but uh, Palmon seems to have forgotten them. I'm surprised the flying ant has an ant sized brain. If you don't want your tongue to be burned off by the sacred flame tonight, I suggest you stay quiet. Mm -hmm. See those sacred flame pillars. Once you put the fire, go light each one up in turn. Once that's done, head down into the cave where the mountain king slumbers, light the brangers along the way, then bring the flame to the final altar, and the ceremony is complete. That sounds simple enough. The process isn't complicated, but remember, you mustn't turn back at any point. When it's a pillar, you can't light the next one, then come back to it. You have to keep moving forward, or it's seen as disrespecting our ancestors, so that happens. You won't receive the blessing of the true fire, and you'll have to start over. Let me do a diagram that summarizes the steps. Take a look. Got it. The illustration of the turn fire night's ritual resembles the sign of the canopy's totem. Oh, and he's got a somewhat similar swirl on his necklace. So that's your part. What about you? I'll be with you the whole way, and once you put the altar, I'll start summoning the rift. You can weave that side of things to me, just focus on your part. Okay, I'll try to remember all that and get it right from the first time. And then, shall we begin? Ready when you are. But I think I saw Hootie and the others just now. Maybe you should say hi before you start. Might make you less nervous. Just tell the chief when you're ready. Mm -mm. Path of Turnfire. Illustration of the Turnfire Night Ritual resembles the signs of the canopy's totem. Screw like this. Nine in total. Hmm. Nine in total. House over there. Hmm. Underneath the scions. Heard of again. Detective Huni and Trinidad. Mr. Nickname, you look so cool today. You look so pretty today. Oh, they didn't code that right. Oops. We're gonna make sure the Mountain King never threatens us again, right? I believe in you. I'll be cheering you on the whole time. 
Trinidad. Mighty Outlanders, the time has finally come. You know what must be done. Always remember, you must cleanse as much visual energy as you can. This is the only way to prolong the Mountain King's slumber. I'm sure you have what it takes. Hmm. Oh, okay, and this is an object. Ponche and Toba. Mr. Traveler, you're finally here. I even dragged my uncle out to watch the ceremony. Although I'd hoped for the Moab of Nambar Kome, ancient name, to perform the ceremony, that was never anything to do with you. So please don't take it personally. Got thinking last night, and I realized that the lesson of Moab turned flowers to look forwards, and I should accept my book is gone and start anew. Besides, I'll be even more to write about this time, given this will be our first Trinfire ceremony, featuring a flame bearer from another land. I'll be taking detailed notes. Good luck, Mr. Traveler, you got this. So. Thiago is back. Hey, I bet you're surprised to see me. Surprise! Didn't think I'd be coming, did you? I don't want to Yeah, you didn't think I'd be coming. I was all packed up and ready to go, but then I thought. I wonder if the ceremony will go any differently with a new flame bearer. So it's just been Kimich again and again then. So yeah, here I am again. So I'll you for that picture you took, so once you start, I'll be dancing to tree one. Don't be nervous, you'll do great. Miraxo, Miraxo. Okay. Let's talk to you one more time. Kakoine. Cool. So they did not mess up. The voice, of course, can't really do that, but they did mess up the dialogue because that's just typing. You're able to continue it even if you leave, you want to leave. Okay, cool. Yep, so it's Kimichu. Let's you back in. First, I think I will. Yep, and he is right over there now. There's a door icon over his head. Climb into his mouth or something? No. So let's heal back up. Didn't get a chance. Well, I did take my chance. So, yep, you got some special dialogue. If you close out because you rejoin the ceremony by talking to him. I saw you leave the ceremony site and was worried you might go well, so I came to check up on you. How cute. Are you in trouble? Let me help you out and then escort you back. Let's head back. Okay, let's go. Hey, we go. That's a fun little interaction you can see. Let's get started. Why not? Well, why not? How are you doing is all in order. And we're ready to go. I'm counting on you. Don't forget what we talked about. My past view and present flame, life marches ever on. Doesn't Mavuika say that herself? During one of the ceremonies, maybe the failed resurrection? My brothers and sisters, the time has come to light the fire once again, and while the true of our nights shine bright in Huitzlan. Hmm. It's got that conspicuous green in the fire. With Mavuika, go to the altar, obtain kindling of the sacred flame. Once you obtain the flame, go draw close to a brazier to ignite it. The ritual has a specific order to it. That's the sacred flame according to the fixed order or fail. It's straight toward the ritual's end, turning back that was felt not but failure. Hmm. Better get the sacred flame. Okay, so to repeat that dialogue. Nothing new, at least right here. Hmm. Why not around? It does not seem like it. Get our kindling, and we use Kinich for this. Find the pillars of sacred flame, zero out of nine. Okay. So, as we've done, off to a good start. Bit of, oh, and that's the platform there. Good stuff, Migo Tada. Just keep grappling around. That's one without a platform to hold us. Oh, interesting. Okay. So just moving back doesn't kill you. So you're over halfway. Keep it up. A sample. Go on grappling. Platform's here. Platform here, and now we walk it. Impressive. Just one more to go. 
Come on, we must push the final sacred flame. Pillar's up ahead. Solid Vlogiston planks for a while. Like, those weird, unexplained water planks over in Fontaine. Okay. <clears throat> and that's it. Simple enough. Oh, but there seems to be a grapple to the final one, too. And it follows the path we took. Flying and no. Not walking, actually. Yeah, it's like their sigil. Cool. So now, presumably, grappled down into the Mountain King's lair. Hmm. Great, all the pillars are alight. So let's look at that. Next, it's down to the canyon and head to the Mountain King's cave. Dokutsu. So, all these gonna be, yeah, all of these look to be platform ones. But what is the fire icon bias then? Oh, it's presumably the kindling. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Almost there, the cave is just up ahead. Go deeper inside. Oh, and I realized I forgot to give him. Though well, actually, Gray doesn't look bad on it. Eight bit artistry. Oh, it's really gamer. Can you choose outfit, colorful patches, or array to cross his clothes? A great pattern precision. Sasaurian hunters have their own principles. Let's give you. Don't have those yet. Sure, take your dandro wings. Oh, good enough. It's starting to light up now. Alright. Resurrection activated, and. Special version of Mountain King stuff. The Abyss Presence is going strong. We should deal with the contamination first. Cleanse the Abyssal Power all around and light the Brazier. Ah, and this is a bit like... The... What was her name again? Sorush, Sorush, right. Oh, I bet we can use... Let me see. Can I get close enough to... Actually, watch on. Not like that. Okay. In that case, just try to grab. The balls. Toss them in. There we go. That's good. Yep. It's very plainly how we were going to do this. Come on. Grab and shoot. Oh, no, not like that. Mmm. A little finicky. There we are. Go get that platform then. Go over. Keep getting flamed around it. That's fine. But. Did it disappear or did I just advance too far ahead? Can't tell all that well. Okay. Get that. Light it up. Thank you. Take. Yeah, the edge is a bit. You can fall off a bit more easily. You can fall through the edge of it. Huh. Where's the final brazier then? Up here, maybe? Oh, okay, that's what I missed. Just one over here. There we are. Just blast them and go further in. On to there. There's the altar of the sacred flame. Remember, we'll light up the torches around it first. So then we're grappling it. Oh, a very abyss corrupted Kongamato. Hmm. Now the fire itself is leading the path. In. Oh, you are purple, purple. You've got a little outline, this white outline around your frills. That's interesting. Presumably we'll fight it like that, too. Maybe. Alright. That's torches and the... altar. I'm at the final step of the plan, and... it's gonna bork. Right. I think I heard that. Sadly. Cool. Woohoo! We've lit up the final altar. Snag on the sick on the final sacred flame. Oh. This is a little Metroid. Music wise, that's a Mountain King up ahead, right? That's him, Kongamaru, King of the Yunka Source from 100 years ago. He's very powerful. 
Um, I can tell he's huge. Let's search carefully. We don't want to wake him up. Should we pretend to purify the king? We made it worse. We did even better than I expected. However, now comes the final, most important step of the ceremony. Please use the power of the sacred flame to cleanse the mountain king of abyssal filth. There's no need this time. Hmm, and this is the rift, right? So strong abyssal power, what is that thing? Huge was the meaning of this. You're going to... Spirit him away, right? Or... Is that a beastly rift? Juiki no Sakume. I think in that case, it basically would be... I need to know the characters, but either sort of beast bringing rift or beast beastly life rift? Chief one, Elder Trinidad, it's about to get old dangerous, you should step back. What do you think you're doing? Solving the Mountain King issue. How about actually explaining yourself? You mean by having him torn to pieces by rift hounds? If so, we can't let that happen. Push Locust, can't you see we're trying to shove your Locust King into the beastly rift? Oh, stupid. But, but. Sorry, Chief One and Elder Trinidad, this is the only way. We promise you that no harm will come to the Mountain King. Can't guarantee it, but I'm fairly confident. Traveler, this is not what we agreed on. You must cleanse the Mountain King of every last trace of missile contamination. Change my mind, I don't want the King to die. Or this was Kinish's idea, this has nothing to do with me. Let's be principled. Can I see what this is? You've been in cahoots the whole time. He's gonna disrupt it because he's a. Completely useless idiot. Can we just kill him? It's... The problem is solved either way. You imbecile, what have you done? I know the device is destroyed. You forced my hand, I had no choice. Well, the Trinidad, well, what are you doing? Can't, can we just kill that guy, honestly? It, no, the Mountain King is waking up, he will cause even more casualties. Everyone out now. Oh, but he's staying. I hope he gets eaten, honest to God. So what is this? What, what was his purpose? Ah, now he's awake. His funny glowing eyes. Uh-huh. Seems there's only one way to awaken you all from your willful blindness. More sacrifices must be made. Just, just eat him. Just eat him, please. Okay. Now take a look at him. He looks like food. What? Take me, oh Mountain King. Take me as your next sacrifice. And... And... Big Fireball, and... Is he dead now? Okay. Everyone's still outside. We have to keep the Mountain King here. Give me a hand. Corrupted Mountain King. Uh, and... Yeah, it does kind of look like he's just gone. Quite frankly, good riddance. And only R3 this time? That's normal, right? I don't know. Here it's peak. Crit damage increased. Increased AoE. Damage increases. That's... This is gonna be nice. Better swing movement speed increase. Crit damage increase. It's a nice one. Hmm. It's got good enough crit here. Dodge. Got this going. These are trial cage. Thanks. And so the big AoE. It's spitting out. I can use those against him. Actually. Oh, I. Ah, stupid. Should have shot them at him then. I didn't think he'd do that as quickly as he did. And dodge. Okay. Fair enough. Let's try this out, and automatically moved on. Good stuff. And this, the various Dendro Res Red amounts of Dendro Res Red we got going on are really good to have here. Let's actually... Eh, that was a long time. He's after the burning, but to be fair, you can't do all that much here. Come on, I... Ah, oh, that was wrong. Come on. Let's try to shoot some... Eh, uh, we didn't get to shoot the fruits. Oh well. And we jump and... They have switched to having us use prototype rancor of an insectoid. Airstrike. 
It's gonna spit out the guy, or... Oof, what do we do? We can't open the rift. Oh, he's got a voice, too? Oh? No, seriously, is this a human voice? Maybe Burkina? Kill me! Put an end to Hootslaw's shame. Oh. So what does this mean? My past fuel, the present flame. Black March is everyone, and that's Malipo. So is that Burkina? Some mobile must have turned conscious carried on? Hmm. It's not more like an arrowhead than the one we saw before, I think. Patience will answer to the fire for all our deeds. Even if one day I'll fall behind, never look back. Keep moving forward, as we are now. Oh, so... Burkina's version of the sigil looks even more exactly like Turnfires who live with their guilt and shame. This is the price to pay. MLP. Here to the Turnfire Pools is my ruined vessel to train the heroes of the future. The will of Kongamaro to march ever on till the abyss is stamped out. Yeah. Falling down the sands of the Canopy Tribe. That was kind of emotional. Just a little. Hmm. So that basically explains what's up with the Mountain King just sitting under there. Yeah, pretty eventful day yesterday, huh? How one wonders how things are doing now. Let's go ask the chief. Oh, said Wina specifically. What I wonder is if we had actually shot oh, the flame ran its back. Would they have said something about that? Okay, the first time Kongamata was damaged by a flame grant from triple flame grant spit or single flame grant spit, King just says, yeah, that's it. Oh, they even have <laughs> recordings of the English voice lines on the wiki, too. Okay. Alright. Back to Wana. Travel, you've come at just the right time. I have some good news for you. Turning out his condition is stabilized. He suffered burns on much of his body, but we believe he'll survive. <laughs> Shame, honestly. Guess that's the best news we could hope for. Palman has to ask, is everyone who traps our wrist taker? First King H, then Elder Trinidad. Is this the signs of the canopy's adventurous spirit in action? We're simply not afraid to charge ahead into the unknown. Is King H okay? It's fine, don't worry, he's gonna check on the Mountain King. Something most mysterious has happened. After the incident yesterday, a transparent shell is formed around the Mountain King's body. You don't understand the mechanism behind it, but the shell appears to insulate him and aid him against the influence of abyssal power. That's very, very definitely. Some for shouting about what this ancient names do. It is somewhat akin to a scab. That it stops the abyssal energy within him from bleeding out while also preventing further abyssal energy from seeping in and infecting him. I've never seen anything like it. The tribes of senior elders believe it was caused when he was burned by the sacred flame. Similar to the way burned wood becomes charcoal. Well, I think their theory makes sense. After all, we've never thrown the mountain directly into the sacred flame before. And so it's made a barrier against abyssal energy, and that's a good thing, right? It's practically a miracle from what we've seen of it so far. It means that the mountain king's level of abyssal energy is now stable. No longer will we need to perform an annual cleansing ceremony. It's a bit like the op app one. It might not be all that emotional, but it was definitely a lower focused quest. And I don't dislike that. Oh, that's amazing. So it is the last turn fire. Was it really just the power of the sacred flame? I know what you were thinking. The young people in the tribe were already speculating that yesterday's ceremony was a turn fire night like none other in our history. So when Kini, she summoned the very flame that appears in our ancient legends. A great transparent ball of fire. That fire is what saved the mountain king. Oh, so I guess the turn fire would actually be sort of a transparent white then? Oh, so that was the real turn fire. So suppose the power of the turn fire is somehow contained in that ancient name? Oh, I may be the chief of the tribe, but I've only ever known the turn fire is a concept in our legends. I cannot answer that question. If anyone can answer it, I suspect it would be there with the Molly turn fire name. It is in the mountain king's cave as we speak. So, Kinich, then, why don't we go see how he's doing? Come on, Kinich, and talk to him. Anything to say? 
Nothing new there. Okay. So back to the cave. Von Keen, you should talk to him. Oh, but he's actually right outside it. So it doesn't interfere with the normal world state of the Mountain Kitten being there. Okay. Cool enough. Let us chat. Yo, Kinichi. Hey, Kinich. Hey, yourselves. You two doing Tabitha Pamonka, the travel in Pamon. Two doing your capture yesterday. Yoko Yate. Doing well. We were going to ask you the same question. You scared Pamon half to death when you rushed into the fire. So I couldn't just stand there and watch the mountain get burned alive. So you thought you'd try to extinguish the sacred flame with Dendro? Was that an attempt to make the almighty dragon or Kuho Aho die of laughter? The sacred flame only possesses a fraction of the Power Archon's power. It's not as if I was finding the Power Archon herself. Kinich, when he went into the flames, were intending to, uh, intending to what? Sacrifice? To do the same thing as Burkina. Sacrifice myself? Of course not. My focus was on keeping the mountain king alive, not what it would cost. Now I'm curious, what made you think I was going to sacrifice myself? Well, because everyone's saying the Turn Fire is what saved the king last night. And Ponce's theory is that some of the Turn Fire is a tit for dad exchange, right? So Paman thought you decided to pay for it with your life. So you've heard that rumor too. I'm afraid I can't say for sure what happened yesterday was a first rumor too. But even if you don't know, there's probably no one in the world who does. What I would say is if that really was the power of the Turn Fire, I'd sooner believe that Mountain King summoned it himself. The Mountain King, then what price did he pay? According to their price, is not a turn or compensation. But what you're willing to give up in order to attain what you want. His life? His consciousness? It's easy to die for your sins, much harder to live with the guilt and keep on going. In the end, the Mountain King chose the latter option. For Bikina and for the tribe, that's the price he paid. Right, so how's the Mountain King doing now? Both wise, there's nothing to worry about. He'll enter a fighting stance whenever we set foot in his territory. But his attacks are gentler now and not as crazed as before. Like he said yesterday, he just intends to be a sparring partner for people to practice with. He said health wise, is something else bo bothering you? Yeah, I tried communicating with him again, but he didn't respond. We dare say that Wokus King has well and truly lost its mind, the lights are on, but nobody is home. His body remains fighting fit thanks to the perverse power of the abyss, but time has been lost kind of its soul. His ground to the Pope won't get some of Tamashi. That soul. But we saw him come back to his senses yesterday. It was merely one last burst of brain activity before it croaked. As humans would say, it went out with a bang. Now come on, something such a doom tumor. Come on, that's the Mountain King has finally let go of the tragedy of the past now, as far as I'm moving forward. Saying Doomer feels like Starro more than this. That's why he doesn't have time to chat with us. He's too busy thinking about the future. Yeah, well, it seems my fellow tribes people can move forward now, too. Thank you for your help, Traveler. I owe you one. They already gave me that gift. Yeah, that's right. He caught Enjo for us, remember. But he ended up being completely useless. It's not a fair trade if he lost out. No, that's on him. It's not your fault he's useless. Besides, we're friends now. You don't owe us anything. Friends, but your friendship is an even more valuable gift. I can't in good conscience accept it for free. So I promise you, if you need anything in the future, will come to me. We will do anything. Basically, use my full strength. Okay. And that's all. Nietzsche's deal. So I guess that was his deal. Any follow up or. Ah! Little. I belong with him. True, I am so, and the only parole of Huni got the sad ending. Yeah, everyone's happy except me, first Nana, then my dad. What does everyone in my family have to suffer? Huni will be okay, your dad will get better soon. Probably you're my friend, so I shouldn't say this to your face, but it's all the Mountain King's fault. Eh? Yeah? Hold your horses, kiddo. If you promise not to fight, Uncle Sunk will tell you a story. Okay, before you roll out your eyes out of your school, promise you can trust me, I almost got my eyebrows burned off the return fire the last time. So I came back to make it up to you. Alright, I'll just get to the point. What Uncle Saigo is most about your people. What? Your extreme sports. Huh? My first day here, I got hit by someone falling out of the sky, and we caught with bungee jumping. It's a dangerous sport to be sure, but the courage it took to make the jump at Breast Academy. So I introduced myself to the jumper, we made friends, and even helped treat her wounds. Ah, oh, such a nice friend. Of course, anyway, the good times didn't last because I got captured by a powerful foe. So we had to part ways for a while. The hands of the enemy, I was scorned, scolded, and nearly given away as a gift. It was so humiliating, a horrible experience to look back on. 
What is Uncle Sanka always have to suffer? I thought Oji Chan, yeah, Uncle. Thought so. I feel the pain, Ah Huni. I was in the same position. But in the end, I made it through, and I left all those painful memories in the past. I had to read out with my friend. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is a very lore-oriented one, and it's honestly more about Enjo, for better or worse, than it is about Kinich. Oh, is that it? The moral of the story is to look forward in life, right? Yeah, we've heard that one millions of times, so Uncle Sanka, but you're not cut out to be a teacher. You're smart Huni, but not quite smart enough. What I'm trying to tell you is that after I reunited with my friend... Oh, but why is he by the mural? Found her injuries were all healing, but she really missed her family, so I thought you might have to see her too. Oh, so presumably it's Nana. Okay. She's right behind you, turn around and see. This is a bit of abyssal healing. Another trick about not turning back and not falling for that one again. With goggles too, huh? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Got another, presumably, travel power traveler upgrade material. Collect this, yep. In the legends of the signs of canopy, the memory of a great fireball is drifted down through the count countless ages of not once past its story etched into an ancient name and passed down through generations of heroes. Yeah, because the turn fire is in the name then. Interesting. Now rests upon the shoulders of being a soaring hunter. Is tribal conflicts so ever more intense? There may be those that ask, how well does he understand its meaning, and how does he view the coming crisis? My past, feel, and present play, life marches ever on. Quest complete, rewards await collection, nine days, one hour. So this, we can save this up for Kachina. She needs 30 two more. Okay, cool. Hmm. Collect the rep rewards from there. Couple domains and then combat event. It ends today, so I gotta remember. There we go, Kinish's deal. So just a little bit of exploration, and that's maximum. Hmm. Honestly, I feel like they could have named him Kinich and Ahau to an extent. Same way that Topaz was Topaz and Lily. But. One, well, two more quick little runs of town book domain for a few more fire books. And just wipe out that combat event real quick. Should be easy. Cool. Nice stuff. Let us go through the ruins. Let's do this. I wonder if... I'm not sure, but that might be showing new Sorians. Probably not, though. Let's do this. So... Put Emily down, get Kinish gone, and blast. Keep on moving, blast, and keep on moving, blast, and... Another one, and very nice. Cool. And Milani can handle the rest of this. Thanks. And yeah, there we go. Cool. Took more damage than I would like. Oh well. He yeah, would have been nicer. I suppose. But, yeah. Hopefully get enough for 999 on Sheila and then... Also need more experience books, but not all that many. About 60 more purple, purple ones, more or less. That would not actually be much of a struggle to get at all. Okay, and shoot at... Oh, well, I... Let's immediately just feed you. Are you dead yet? You're not dead yet. Yay. Okay, cool. And class... Blast, shoot, and another one, and blast. There we go, cool. But, ah, uh, we missed some threads, and that is 
Oh, we can what? What? Ah, how finish that one out? But very plainly, having Emily as that dendro about it really helps. It, to an extent, Kinich. Well, Emily needs Kinich more than Kinich needs Emily, but still, that was nice. So, mm -hmm. now real quick, do a story in hunting, and okay, shoot, and thank you. Now we can keep going around, just fun. All right, cool. Mm, but a skill damage bonus. It's no power reaction. Because this is not the team I'm usually using here. Okay, and. Shoot. Nice. Oh, good. Okay. Let me... You up quick and right, normally. No, Emily, just Dia. But I... This is fun. It's not crazy crazy. Though I imagine that... Hopefully being able to maybe ditch Bennett. Maybe Dia and Malika together or something like that. But having to play Circle Impact hurts him a bit, given how much he moves around. Eh, we'll see. Frankly, focusing on saying the Circle rather than the Blind Spots would probably be good, given that... Oh, constant burning helps him enough that... get points up enough that it doesn't really matter all that much. I wouldn't say I can afford to just avoid them, ignore them, but it's not all that difficult. So we need 23 more. Kindling books. Philosophy is a kindling. And gold kindling books. And have enough for showing in 999 on drop. Thorns and crowns are domain that is very rarely visited. Filled with all kinds of tricky imaginary challenges. It's said to be surmountable only by warriors. Gifted with both intellect and courage. Huh. Here we are. Yeah. Check this out, check our quests. I'll do this on Thursday or something. Events. Yeah, we're doing everything basically. Ancient king of the Yumkus horse slumbers beneath the canyon, wagering its century old, centuries old pride, awaiting young warriors of the tribe to rise and challenge it. Emphasis on slumbers now, I suppose. Thorns and crowns. In the nation of war, only the brave who achieve great feats can enjoy honor and accolades. The wisdom to overcome various trials is the cornerstone of greatness. Definitely apply your wisdom and strength. Conquer all imaginary challenges. Defeat your adversaries and compose your own canticle of crowns. Hmm. So, of thorns and crowns. Shouldn't take all that long, but I want that platinum on each one. Troll of Bedrock, Song of the Fireflies. In battle, enemies as resilient as Bedrock are often most formidable. This trial is designed to test warriors' ability to confront such adversaries. Hmm. Later ones have a little bit extra. Fearless. It's weak. So, break the Praetorian Gold's Geo Shield. Try our thorns, accumulate target trial progress, gain buffs for canical crowns. Use the buffs to feed as many opponents as possible within the time limit. Yeah! We won the 50-50 at... 50. Pity. 50-50 at 50. So I still have... A lot... For shielding it. Go ahead, complain. Do you want me to have bad luck? Hmm. We're chilling. I think. Yeah, we have a lot of rolls saved up for shielding it already. I think you're being evasive. We did a story quest and it was kind of boring as a narrative. But there were a lot of interesting lore tidbits. There was some, there was Mari Javari teasing, you know, further confirmation that it is in that one. Apparently, it might actually be. Some leaks are arguably saying it might be around here. There's a bunch of ocean over here. 
It's where Flower Feather is. This might be where Nightwind is, but there's a bunch of ocean that apparently is going to turn into the Marjavar somehow. Oh. So you feel bloated. Do you want me to just roll you around like a ball or something? Okay. It's the Geo Shield. Normal attacks, res decrease, perform normal attacks, perform, stack of resonant glow accumulated. Executes a coordinating attack after the active character uses a normal attack. Doing true damages, doing true damage, and the count is reset. Oh yeah, that Kini should work here well. Yeah, this should work. We'll try out that Keenich team. I gave him R5 Craftable Claymore already. Hmm. Deal with Sacrificial. Bennett, Emily. What do you mean? Oh, oh, okay. So you bloated significantly. Great. From Trial Characters? Well, let's use as many as we can. Kachina's mid. We definitely want to use our Navia. So to be able to get as much application as possible, although actually, Chiodi is probably going to be a bit better in here. So it's all about just applying as much Geo as possible, and Zhongwei is going to cheese those shields too. Just got to break the shields to get as many buffs as we can. Alright. Thank you. And, yep. Break those shields, and can I... Cool. And once you break the shield, you're chilling. Navia? Oh, we should have put this down already. Whatever. We break 10 shields. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. One. Okay. Use this again. And now we're doing this just fine as is. And done. And you. Okay. Let's still keep going. All about the application, not much else, so... Oh, but if we kill it before we break the shield, that might not work. Tower was intended, and there we go. Completely completed things. We got maximum buff. Heading to Canticle of Crowns. Keenich is interesting. That's for sure. Got all this. Okay. Pass us down. Got you. This is for food? I didn't know that was a... Common option. That's cool, though. Okay. Keep on shooting. Keep on shooting. And... Well, I... Uh, that didn't quite hit like I would want. Well, all right. Thank you. And... Mm, he's having some energy issues. That's a thing. Well, whatever. Come on, and... Shoot. Thank you. Thank you. And... I might actually not have... Uh, the same... Shoot. Okay, nice. There might be some issues with procking the buff with him. He might not actually count as the attack. I don't know. Okay, let's just use the normal ones there and throwing that. Okay, shoot. And there we go. Cool. So, wondering, we might actually want to use Clip Boom here. Maybe. Can't really tell, honestly. Well, we can try to hit as much as we can. Try to hit as much of these as possible is probably a better idea. And can I... Ah, oh, I'm just barely missing that. Annoying. He is really fun to play. I enjoy his gameplay significantly. Can we try that again? It's not a platinum. Oh, uh, we set the... We try this around. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. This... Gotta focus on staying in the Bennett circle, first and foremost, is the thing. Okay. Cool. Get Emily gone. And... Stay inside Bennett circle. Put that down. Get another buff up. Cool. And... Oh, I... We're too, too far away? That's stupid. Whatever. Okay, I might honestly not have the effect of the buff going. I can't exactly tell. Depends on how they define normal attacks here. No, they, it's working. It's working. It's just imperfect. Okay, cool. And... Shoot, and... Mm, 
barely missed that, sadly. Right. Virgin, okay, cool, and first that, put Emily down. I... This seems like a loaded question. Okay, shoot. Keep on going. Shoot again. And shoot. I, uh, that did not extend it the way I would have liked. That's sad. But, as long as you stay inside Bennett Circle. Well, congratulations. I'm glad for you. I suppose. And Bennett Circle. Thank you. And shoot. Nice. I probably need to try the all item team here, honestly. Maybe. I could see that being necessary. Yeah, we're... Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's interesting. I want that platinum bad. Tendro, because this team doesn't really make use of the AM. This would be... This would work. Hopefully. Let's go to that character preview and make sure everyone's got the right weapons. Iron Sting, Sack Frags, a different Fab Orbo. Yeah. Hytham should have Wolf Fang. Yeah, that's good. Of course, it's not as if she has damages here. Wait, what? What, you, what? what did I say that was unfunny? Oh, we can just restart the round straight from here once we got the grounds. Oh, that's real nice. Okay, let's hope and pray this works. We need to try to speed things as much as possible. Oh, it's a thing. And nice, nice. And get this seems to be a bit more manageable for the situation. Okay, cool. Cool, I all right. Thank you. Boom that. I don't really pay attention to feet. Okay. Thank you, and... Hit. Hit. And, yeah, just Hyper Bloom being as crazy as it is is so really nice. Okay. And there we are. This should be good, maybe. I... I... Let's see. Let's see. I... Gotta switch to Shinobu to use our time as best as possible. Mm -hmm. that, uh, this is tough, but this has got to be the best way. Okay, and no more. Take this down and uh, this out. I, uh, I wonder, I really do wonder, how is the best way to actually get that black? Is it even really all that much of an option for me here? It might be whale bait. It might be whale deer. Hmm. But you need a crazy amount for platinum. Huh. Not like that. I need more char I need different characters. Okay. Well, let's try this again. Select party setup. Try results have been loaded. Hmm. Dandro damage bonus, EM boosted. I feel like Burgeon could actually do a good job. Because it's Dendro. True damage, EM boost. Point attack damage enhanced. I get the feeling of it. Burgeon might be my best option here. But the ones who participate in the first half can't be used for the second. That's kind of like a weird sort of abyss. Interesting. Hmm. For this team, I think Shinchat would want Fav. Probably. Hmm. So then. Maximizing relevant time. Activity. Nahida. Baiju. Xingqiao. And then Toma. Make sure that they have the right stuff on them. Sack frags, decent enough. Proto Amber, Fab Sword, Kitten. Let's try this. 
Let's see how well this one works. So we're doing normals. That won't do much damage. The true damage will actually be a meaningful boon. Okay. Dendro res is significantly decreased, so a virgin should be, like, instant death, I would imagine. Thank you, and I... Mm, maybe. Not quite. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I... Virgin? I... Mm, this is tough, actually. Come on. I... Maybe Platinum's just not in the cards here. That is more possible than I would like to acknowledge. Okay. Mm. Thank you. And... Alright. Can't get fat from that, actually, which is silly, but whatever. Thanks, and... Keep on... On building your Baiju. Healing it all. But the heavy... Hey, we... Focus of the damage is real good to have here. Cool, and... Alright. Virgin that up. And I... Mm, this is still not... It's actually worse. I... Mm -hmm. I... feel like maybe a slightly better Kinich could do the trick. I really don't know that. Okay, cool. We will keep trying to virgin you. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. Thanks. Virgin, virgin, I... Huh. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird. Maybe, honestly... I feel like Neo Bloom would actually work really well here. But I also just don't have Neo. So... <laughs> Oops. Try we'll move on. Try a Blossom Song of the Chilling Wind. Ginger Core is willing to go for the reactions and explosive electro power, a crucial aspect for overcoming this trial. Yeah. Trigger Hyper Bloom or Burgeon reactions. Trigger as many of them as you can. You know! Hmm. Trigger Swirl on an opponent elemental particle that regenerates six energy. Increases defense. Shockwave Blast. True damage. Hydro and Cryo. I. That's plain way a freeze thing. This. Might be another Morgana moment. The long-awaited return of Morgana relevance. Or I suppose Ayaka Freeze Team, but I don't have Ayaka. So, oops, again. Hmm. It's not like the rewards for getting Platinum are all that relevant, but it's there. I would like to get it, ideally. Mona. For Hyper Blooms as much as possible, I... Maximize Bloom Core production. Honestly, I feel like the Toma team would still work. Hmm. Okay. Got to trigger as many as possible. Hyper Bloom or Virgin reactions. Okay. Well, Mona's setup is probably kind of goofy off. Uh, we'll see. We got a minute to win it. Let's make this happen. Pokemon is probably a slightly better option here, but who knows. Thanks, and take that, and submit this. Cool, cool. And let's trigger the Burgeon as much as possible, and lots of blooms. Lots of blooms. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and it's over here. Take that down. That's gone, okay. Hmm, I... This has got to be hyper fodder. There's really no other way around this. Okay, cool, and... First, take that, and... Mm, just as many as possible. Just a pure hyper boom would probably work best. Honestly, just use Raiden. Yeah, you just use Raiden. Okay. Mm. Come on, come on. Mm. Let's try that again. We can figure and try again. Oh, they want you to use Yao Yao and Raiden, and here they want you to use... Are there no trials for... There's only trial characters for the first part. Okay, interesting. It's our Raiden, our Yao Yao. The only objective is to deal as much... damage as possible. Hmm... 
Well, I mean, not as much damage. It's not about damage at all. It's about just getting hyper balloons, as many hyper balloons as possible. Hmm. All right, okay. So anything other than hyper balloons is a waste of time. Interesting. Okay. Cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Nope. Lots and lots of hyper blooms. Okay. Cool. And so that's gone, I suppose. Well, this could be an okay time for it. I didn't need to do that, right? I didn't. Okay. Cool. I. What? What? Oh, really? Okay. Yo, yo. I guess we could put down Ching Chow. Cool. And just as many hyper blooms as we can muster. All in one place, so. This. Yeah. It's trivial. Thank you, thank you. Boom, 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 and... Okay, cool. That's good. Continue. I... What has everyone got on them? Mona got... Fav Codex. Okay, so this... Should hopefully be pretty chill. Okay, and... Cool. Nice. I... Mm. I... No, not like that. I... Uh, thank you. And all right, we need to battery vent you up a bit. Cool, that is going. And one couple uh, shots should do it, actually. Oh come on! All right, I yeah, this should hopefully be fine. Might need to be a little better about my timings, but I. Yes, mm, boyo. Yeah, cover me they are. And venti, cool. Collect those particles and shot with the gun you. Cool, nice. Very nice. I This should be workable. Should be very workable. This is very venti. Very Morgana. If they do not go out of their way to make Morgana bad, it will always be good. Okay, cool, and there we go, one more. Nice. I cool, cool. Nice, and... Screw all of you. I think I could hopefully score that platinum with enough... Enough proper positioning. Maybe, maybe. Uh, no. Not really. It... This stuff is whale bait. <laughs> I need to satisfy myself with... Getting all the meaningful rewards. I don't need more Mystic Enhancement or Whatever. Trail the Wild, Sing of Lightfall. It is said that the Wild favors warriors with strong endurance, not relying on elemental bursts, and said steadily braving your way through the trial might be a more suitable strategy. Oh, and this is about the moment of trial and about a wild manifestation. This point the arena moment of trial, creating shield for themselves and absorbing all party members' elemental energy. Characters in the arena deal greatly increased damage. If the shield is broken before the arena expires, they will also regain a large amount of energy. However, should you fail to break the shield, manifestations generate very based on the value of the remaining shield. And okay, they want you to use Keenich here. Okay. Shield or elemental shield. Do that four times. Hmm. So, Dia. Bennett, Emily. Should be good. And our own Keenich. Elemental Burst Geo Shield absorbs damage, max HP accumulation. A lightfall. Burst damage and crit damage that. Mm. This is very obviously use Ride in National. I'm okay with that. Let's go out to see. Who we got in where? Bennett. Oh, but Bennett's in there. That? Oh, for only breaking shields. Maybe. I don't want Bennett there, maybe. Just come to this party and Zhongling, but we gotta make sure we got the right weapons on them and. Who do I put in here? Boost that damage. Attack buffer Chevy wouldn't work. I. Maybe, honestly, Tritoma? Sure, I guess. Just for the resonance, honestly. 
Whatever. Let's do our character preview just to see what everyone has. You need, you need the catch. Good, good. Not miss it if you want valid. Cool. That should make you rather strong. Okay. Hmm. Youch. All right. And thank you. And right, they drained that. So cool, cool. And break, break. Oh, nice, nice. Kill. Do I have to kill you? You might have to kill you. Hmm. Okay. All right. Emily there and take you out. I wait. What? Never mind. Come on. Break, break. Burst and shoot. Hmm. I get the impression that you actually have to get kills. That is rather interesting. Okay, cool. But we're doing fine enough, it seems. Okay, just have to kill one, then break the shield in the next. Should hopefully have enough time? Not sure. And... Hmm. Come on, come on. I... Some of these characters, Toma there was kind of wasted. Let's try that again. Don't need Toma in there, especially since bursts aren't even relevant. Okay, and cool. Thank you, and just do this as quickly as possible. Shoot and get those blind spots as quickly as we can. Shoot and there we go, another one, nice. Yeah. Emily down here and. Mm -hmm. Night Soul is the thing. Honestly, I feel like having Milani on duty to get the shield breaks in faster might actually be a viable tactic. Maybe. Can't really tell. Come on. Let's get this burning up and Emily down here. Thank you, Kinich. I. Uh, got well, gets in here apparently, but that's only so much to say. Keep that going and I uh, come on, come on. Shoot, shoot, I uh, mm. come on, come on, come on. I uh, uh, please, please. I uh, there we go. Thank you, Aha. Alright. That was narrow. Oh we have Having Milani in there from more night cell damage might have honestly been the move. Maybe. Oh wait, they should all be around here, maybe? Yeah, this is... so much riding national fodder, but I imagine the point that was your balance around being able to mow down pretty much everything without any real trouble. Okay, cool. Thank you, and... Just like that, we got stuff nice and fast. Okay, cool, and... Rifle's real good to have, and... Come on! Take you out. Thank you. Kill. Kill the serpent. Kill. One, two. I miss entirely. I hate this here. Come on. And this is good. Thank you. One, two. Get this done. Start swarm that end. Thank you. And where, where are you? I, what? You were over there. Okay, that's actually really annoying. Come on. That. Might have screwed me. At least a little. You no, know, Raiden's cons, amusingly enough, are about reducing burst cooldown. It's interesting to think about. You feel to avoid some of the dead time here, if I had that possibility. I. Uh, this. Yeah, this is for whales. Sad to say. Oh well. Give them a good run for their money, but even with maximum buffs, you gotta be a whale. Trial of Thunderous Roar, Song of Swift Advances, Thunder chooses the swiftest warrior's companions, perhaps strong mobility is the key to conquering this trial. And that, use the Thunderous Roofs in the challenge and defeat enemies in synergy with your character's rapid movements. And okay, Milani and Lynette. So Yelon would probably be good here, maybe even Wanderer. Be able to cycle between rapid moving characters. That try this. Pyro and Geo damage bonus. Pyro and Geo. The Pyro and Geo characters have a crit rate increased by 50%, crit damage increased by 30%. 
Defeating each wave's unique enemy march with a specific signal symbol. Shockwave, doing true damage. Shockwave is enhanced. Shing shockwave, damage increased. I... feel like our best geo damage geo would still be Navia. Just run typical Navia team that I run. Okay. Thunder Bristle loops. What does that mean? Oh, okay, it's just move around as fast as you can. So we can keep using our Phlogiston. This is pretty ridiculous. Okay. Cool, and it's literally just run around as fast as you can. And will this... Yep, even Wander will work. Nice. Wonder if they'd make him not work, honestly. But they didn't. Okay. Let's just get around the enemies as much as you can. It's a fun one. Okay. Can't look around. Let's do this. Let my spawn stacks come up. Alrighty then. Thank you. Good stuff. Rosukraka. Oh, they're kind of coming over here too. Interesting. Shoot. One, two, three. We gotta get the Ruin Guard. Okay, shoot. And that was fun. Shoot, shoot, and. Oh, but to make sure that the right opponents. How am I going to ensure that. Okay. Oh, so it's just. Attack the king and everything else will go down suitably. Okay. I like this one a lot, actually. This is remarkably reasonable. Okay, cool. Thanks, I shoot. One, two, three, one, and dodge. Shoot. Nice. One, two. And we got you in here. You're the big guy this time. Okay. Then it. And. Mm, that was a problem this time. But I don't know why. Okay, shoot. And one, two. Ah, uh, another ruin guard. Annoying. Shoot. Ah, uh, nice. Again. Shoot. And. Drop it down. Thank you. And. Burst. Put you down. And shoot. One, two, three, four, five. Shoot. One, two, three, four, five, and, and that's all. That is all I can manage here, which is gold by a good margin, but that planet is ridiculous. Hunter chooses the swiftest warrior's companions. Perhaps strong mobility is the key to conquering this trial. The trial of Shattered Fragments, Song of Melting. Cunning foes often use elemental shields to protect themselves. Selecting the right element to break through their defenses is the essence of this trial. Break the shield. The vaporizer melt. Defense increased by 50%. Defense. Vaporizer melt. Vaporizer melt. Defense increase. Vortex. Pull enemies in. Hmm. Wonder what. I should try to run, man. Vaporizer melt. I. Feel like riding national would probably work again. But Hazel and Skaza. Hmm. That is about breaking shields. Bismuth shields. Hazo could work. It's just about getting as much anemone as possible. Hmm. Kaza. Maybe Venti. Maybe even Farzan. Uh Honestly, yeah. Additional boost she would give and our crappy unbuilt hazer. Cool. Let's ride in it up. You, you. And you. Okay. Break the shield. Hmm. All right. Thanks, I. Uh, there we are, I suppose. Thank you, I. Alright. Interesting. Toss this down, I guess. And who is. 
Mm, that's it. I don't imagine. He's all that good here. Mm, I and okay, so they disappear after a bit. Interesting. Come on, come on. Thanks. Swirl. Here's a punch. Okay, all right. I. We are having minor connection issues. Okay. Come on. I. Fart, fart, fart. What? 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 <sighs> Hopefully. Hopefully we're fine. Huh? Time down and disappeared? That's stupid. That was really stupid. Okay. Hmm. Let's try that again. Good God. I hopefully the connection still be working, but uh, this is insufferable. It. I might legitimately just be out of bandwidth for the month. It wouldn't surprise me all that much. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Hope that this... Kaza is incredibly good at swirling these, but... Thank you. I... Huh? What a... Ah. Uh, this is... Actually evil. Yeah, we need to try this stupid garbage again. Hmm. Shouldn't be that much of a problem, but still. <clears throat> come on. Come on. Cool, cool. Thank you, Farzan. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Another one. And there we go with the shield. I. What is up with. The connection. I really just wonder and not in a good way. Whatever. Thank you. Just roll those. Should be good to go. It's already broken, which is fun. Okay. Swirl that. Thanks. Cool. Okay. Swirl and that's broken. Only a few more shields needed. Swirled. And, let's see, there we are, all right, cool. Let's continue, bit of riding national, we'll be good. Oh, hey, long time no see. I actually managed to pick him up at, I don't like to brag, but I won the 50-50 at 50 pity. So I should have a good amount for shooting into. But it's good to see you again, long time no see. How are you? Well, I mean, long time no see as a viewer. You've shown off. But, yeah, it's nice to see you again. If it seems like the stream restarted, it is because the connection was bad. That's what went on. It, it might be streamer luck. Honestly. I feel like it's a reasonable possibility. Come on. Yeah, it, the internet in my house is just bad. It's just not very good. Come on. We are... Oh, but they got knocked up so much. That's the thing. And the... Mm, this one is going to come down to the wire, I'd say. But it's all those overlords knocking everybody and everything around to a ridiculous degree that really causes the problem. Okay, and you're all the way over there. Okay. Just, I just want that gold. One of them is for whales. I can't do that. It's beyond my capabilities. It's a pretty interesting event, all things considered. I really like the sort of quasi-minigame aspect that a lot of the combat has, but it's kind of silly, as you can see. Having some problems with this, and the Ride and National team is just not suited for this one. It's poorly suited. Well, we barely managed. And I... wonder if there's anything else... I should try to make Keenich work against 
One of the local legends. I, right now I'm running him. Emily, Dia, Bennett, Kinich, because I have no interest. Dia's Deepwood. I have no interest in building a 300 EM Zhongling with a 300 EM Deepwood set. I am more than fine just dealing with a somewhat decreased damage. It's good enough. Kinich, and people have said this, is very much a character anticipating Mavuika because he doesn't play Circle Impact all that well. If you catch my drift, we have the Platinum rewards are basically zero. They're bragging rights rewards, and I cannot brag about them. I can't get 12,500 points. That's beyond me. So I'm going to see if I can fight Sappho with Kinich. I think that'll be a good way to round things out. So I could not be on here for that much longer, but hopefully that can make things interesting, closing things out. But honestly... Maybe a shield might be good, so I'm not getting vaporized. Because the bet itself, Pyro App, is actually not a good thing here. Not really. Well, we'll see. Also, the homing... Sapphire moves around enough. Like going for the tappy is probably a better option than going for the holdy and trying to free aim it. Just because she moves around really, really fast. I have a lot of talent books pre for for Shionen. Do not have a set for her yet. But she uses the kindling books just like Kinich does. Also, these are definitely going to be talent mats for Pyro Trav. Yeah. If I die again, I'm going to try shield. Yeah, we got enough silver, we got enough bronze, so we need 23 more gold books here. Well, it... <laughs> the thing about Emily... Emily's entire deal is... She gives your characters... 85% power res against burning damage while she's on the team. So it's not a huge issue to begin with. But I see where you're coming from. Well, sell the foul here. And let's fight Sappho one more time. She only does use her whistles too, so that'd be nice. Come on, come on. Take you out and. Thank you. I oh, wrong one. That was completely incorrect. I screwed that up bad. Okay. Come on. I... Uh, die so fast. I... We need to restart this. I switched to Teenage, but I meant to switch to Emily, so... Oops. Yeah, it's interesting. I think it was TGS who said that... Emily wants Keenich arguably more than Keenich wants Emily. So there are a number of teams with Keenich that can work, but other than Keenich teams, Emily's real utility is, I guess... Rathesley Melt Burn Melt, which is okay-ish, but kind of copium. So, the main thing is, Emily wants someone else to help her keep burning up. Because, if she's refreshing burning, that means all her hits aren't being done to enemies that are actively burning. That hurts her damage a little. So, it's, it's interesting. Let's try this out. I might have to put a shield down, but we'll see. Come on, come on. And just like this. See how this works. And hit. And wrong way. Whatever. I no circle. That's good. Shoot and shoot and one more. That's decent enough. Try to not die. Come on. Wait till you stay still. Okay, nice. One, two. Hit and burst. I. Having a bit of trouble actually keeping first active, which is interesting to me. Okay. That down and hit. Thank you. Make sure we get in the circle. Well, that did not quite work as intended. Oh, well, I uh, missed that. Annoying. This is actually rather good. It has its limitations, and some of the characters are having energy issues, but it's not bad. It's remarkably usable. And I. Wrong way for a second. Let's make sure we stay in the circle. As well as refreshing our shots. Very, very good. Okay. Stay away from that. Thank you, but yeah, Bennett needs a bit more help than I might like. And actually, I don't think I even need to put down Emily every single rotation. Her lamp should be able to keep going to the next, ideally. Maybe. I'm not quite sure, honestly. 
arms. Oh, we missed that shot. Oh well. Thank you. Damn it. And toss down. The burst. And this. It's risky, but it's a lot more interesting. Where did she go? No, would you? Oh, she went over there. That's really weird. Well, whatever. I okay. Thanks. And, uh, not even hit. I think it went around the wall. Ideally, I. Mm, that was a weird and annoying one. She tends to go all sorts of places in the arena, and I don't like that. Come on, I. Let's break that. Very good. And this should be very usable. Let's get another shot from that. There we are, and it's another one, and there we go. That was tough. Bennett was honestly as much of a bane than a boon, but... That was definitely a lot more exhilarating than my usual style of... Newbie Fury cheese combined with getting some fall damage from Kazu. E-Skills lifting her up. So that was fun. I... He's not crazy crazy. Though I'd imagine that... Mavuika is probably going to make him really, really good. By hopefully separating him from Circle Impact. It's just... He doesn't really have the party members to support him yet entirely. Emily's definitely going to be there because he wants and needs burning. But the Pyro characters who are out right now to boost him are a bit lackluster. I feel like Pyro Traveler and Mavuika, or maybe Mavuika Shibalange, if Shibalange doesn't end up just being Pyro Traveler, which... Yeah, it depends on how... When uses burst, because I use his burst before putting Emily's lamp down. Well, before using Emily's burst so that her burst could benefit from the damage bonus of Bennett's burst. But it, even only half the time, is still really good. Because of just how much attack he gives. The big thing is, if not Bennett, who else are you putting on the team? Maybe a shielder, but it... It's kind of like how Albedo is the Geo who currently accompanies Navia. The next patch, Sheelan is probably going to replace Albedo because of her ridiculous shred and damage bonus from Cinder City Artifact Set and her own kit. Because Albedo's whole role was just... There weren't really any other... Any good second Geos for Navia that really synergized with her kit. Albedo having more Geo up helped a little, but it's not like she really needed the help. And... Sheelan and directly buffing Navia's damage in a real way is going to be really, really good. It's going to be really, really good. But... Are there any other questions you'd like to ask, or any other things you'd like to talk about? Because... That was the last thing I really wanted to do. I'm probably going to do some laundry and maybe make some clips. Make a schedule or something. But again, good to see you again. Always nice to have people pop in. <laughs> But, like I said before, as much as it irks me to say, that's fair. The thing with Zhongling is, you need a truly ridiculous... Oh, Zhongling on Navia team? That... The thing about Navia is that she creates enough crystals that you can honestly use crystals as a defensive option to an extent. Because her kit revolves around crystallize. It's... A little scuffed, but it's... She really, really wants two Pyro, Hydro, Electro, or, or Quayo teammates. And the thing about Zhongling is that even with... How much ER do I have on her? My Zhongling has... Almost 200% energy recharge. There'd be more if I had catch, but it's... I run her catch if I'm not running her with Raiden, especially since Raiden herself wants and needs catch more than her. But even with around 250 energy recharge and fav, she's hell to get her burst up on. Because she has 80 cost, and Globa does not front load. She can't battery herself. Her particle gen is not front loaded. It's... Okay, then in that case, have fun. What are you eating? Enjoy it. Either way. Oh, you know, I got two hands. I didn't say that. Be, be, be careful. Be safe. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, well, I... I'm about to hop off. So, I'll do more stuff this week. Probably Zelda stuff, so... I'll see you later.
Thank you for watching, and yes, Sound Dragon.